Hey, dudes. Hello. It is, uh, it is Undertale time. We get some volume going. Hello there. Okay, I'm good. Hey, Timor. PC had to update. You could have missed entire seconds of the start of the stream. You could have. You could have. I'm sorry, bro. Fuck. Fuck Bill Gates. Fuck Windows. Who's the current... Like, Bill Gates doesn't do anything for Microsoft anymore, right? Who the fuck currently leads Microsoft? Swoosh. No dancing dinos? Oh. They're for game dev streams? Okay. No, that's fine. That's totally fine. I'm, I'm accepting of this restriction. Ooh. Okay, so what the... What the fuck happened last time? We're a child and we fell into a pit where monsters live and then some goat lady met us and tried to make us her child. And it was creepy. But also it seemed like it was because she had watched a bunch of other humans come and leave and then die. But then we told her we had to go because we wouldn't be happy if we stayed. And so then she let us go, but she said, don't come back. Right, right. Satya Nadella is the current, like, what, like, president of Microsoft? Current CEO? I have no idea who they are. I guess that means they're doing a good job because I haven't, I'm not pissed at them. I think, like, every CEO I know. Oh, except the guy from Larian. Uh, Sven. Sven Vink, I think is his name. Pretty much every CEO, uh that I know of. Like, they fucking suck. So, I, I guess it's good I don't know Microsoft's current CEO. Uh, okay, so we left Goat Lady. Then what happened? We we met Sans. We met Sans and his brother Papyrus. Both of whom speak in their font. And then, like, Papyrus wants to, like, catch a human to... To take us somewhere to like the capital city, because the the king needs a human to like break the barrier that keeps them all that keeps all the demons trapped. Monsters, they're monsters, not demons. There might be demons, but they would be included under the term monster. Uh, so yeah, I think I think now we have a, a view of the like the conflict. We know the conflict, other than us trying to get home. We, we know why the antagonist would be involved. Although we don't really know who they are. Demon King, maybe? Monster King is monster. Anyway, they did a series of interviews a couple of years ago on the Freakonomics podcast, which is the only reason you know them. Okay. All right, that's reasonable. Is Freakonomics good? Should I listen to that? Slash watch it? I hate that with a podcast, you don't know if there's a video format. Frustrating. Ah. Uh... Okay, so we came, we, we we defeated Papyrus by not fighting him and asking him if he wanted to go on a date. Um, Sans hasn't really done anything. He just kind of asked us to humor his brother. So I don't know if Sans is actually a danger. Uh, and then we found a cute winter village town. Right, no, that's where Sans and Papyrus live. And then we fought Papyrus at the edge of it. And then... He kind of was like, okay, you can go. I don't... Are we going on a date, though? I don't know if we're going on a date. And I'm not sure. But we did become friends. You like it a lot. All right. If that's as close to an endorsement as I can get, sure. It sounds like it's it would be good. I think there are things I like that I wouldn't recommend to other people. Or that if I would recommend it, I would be like, well, hold on. Did, like, do you like stupidly difficult puzzle games? Because if so, then boy, you'll like Myst. All right, let's uh, let's talk to some people. What the? F he's a he's a giant goldfish, and he's wearing a goldfish jar. Uh, bowl. It's a bowl. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. Okay, that could be relevant plot-wise. 
Uh, we saw this little dude previously. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. Haha. <laughs> okay. I don't know who we're sneaking out to see. What? You haven't seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to Grillby's. Wanna come? Alright. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here. I know a shortcut. What the fuck? Yeah, that's not the way to Grillby's. Okay. Best shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hiya, Sansy. Hey, Sans. Weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. Oh my god, okay. Here, get comfy. Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? That did not sound like a whoopee cushion, bro. Uh, yeah, fine, let's have some fries. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grilby, we'll have a double order of fries. So, what do you think of my brother? <sighs> I don't know. I guess fine. I'll, he's cool. He's fine. Of course he's cool. He'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Okay, yep, yep. Sweet. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? This feels like a trick. Bon appetit. You tip the ketchup. The cap falls off and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. Whoops. <laughs> Forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. Oh my god. Hey, Booski. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree Papyrus tries real hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. Okay. So I'm assuming that's Undyne. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yeah. Well, heard of it, not really, but I've seen it. Whatever, we're going to say yes. So you know all about it. And I know of it. The Echo Flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Oh boy. <laughs> he already made that joke, Derg. Well, that was a long break. I can't believe I let you pull me away from my work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just 10,000 G. Bro, that's insane. I don't have that money. Just kidding. Groby, put it on my tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Oh my god. Okay. So what did we get out of that? That somebody's fucking with Papyrus. Also, he is, in fact, undergoing warrior training. Oh. 
Hey, dude. So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Gr is it is it Grillby's? Uh. My house. All right. What is going on here? There's some weird shit going on in the back room. And then what is... Oh, I see. Whoa. That interesting perspective. Like the kitchen's on the first floor. Anything in your trash can? That's the trash can! Feel free to visit it anytime. Oh, boy. What's with the sink? I impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. Oh, it's that dog. What? Catch that meddling canine. Curses. Sans, stop plaguing my life with incidental music. Okay, so the weird room is Sans' room. Uh, how about the fridge? Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please, peruse my culinary art show. Half the fridge is filled with containers, all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. All right. Uh, stove? My brother always goes out to eat, but... Recently, he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd. So, so it was just like a pie? All right, bro. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay, don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. Don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Oh, boy. Okay. Right, and then I, I didn't realize I should have read that all in their voices because the fucking font clearly conveys their voices. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20G. Sweet. Oh, it's my favorite game show. It says stay tuned for a new program. MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. Oh my god. The shit's so weird. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Yep. Oh yeah. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. Great. Welcome to Scenic My House. Enjoy and take your time. Is this your room? Is this your room, Papyrus? That's my room. If you finished looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Oh, no. Um, not yet. Not yet. No, 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 no. And also, I don't know if I want to do that. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. It's a bone. It's a bone. QP is a joke. Quantum physics is a joke. Ouch. Ouch, bro. So this is like the good ending, right? M maybe. I don't actually know. I... I would think so. Oh, like as in we don't even we don't even do the pacifist route. We just stay here and hang out with Sans and Papyrus. I don't know about that. They're 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 kind of losers. I don't know. They're funny though. 
The door is locked. Okay. I thought Sans would be manning that booth, but he's here in his room, locked away. Okay, fine, Papyrus. Let's do it. Yep, that's your room. I have finished looking around. Yep. Yep. Okay. Oh, boy. He has a race car bed! Oh, shit. Oh, my God. All right. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? It seems like it was only yesterday. Even though it basically just happened. Yeah, it like, it like was, it was a week ago, but yeah, sure. Losers don't have race car beds. All right, touche. Good point. The internet! I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower count. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona, always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. Oh my god. Is, is it, is it, is it Sans? Is it Sans, Papyrus? And there are no skeletons inside my closet. Except me sometimes. Yeah, let's look in the closet. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Alright. The, the joke is there's, it, it was normal. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced puzzle construction for critical minds. That next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. Holy shit. It makes sense. Oh my god. All right. Clearly my chat would be would be at home hanging out with Papyrus and Sans forever. Ah yes, action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, Let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa. What the fuck? All right. Isn't that flag Nito? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. Yeah. <laughs> okay, does the yeah mean he thinks it's a joke? Does like does he know he's making a joke? I can't tell if he knows he's making a joke or if he's really dumb cuz a lot of the time he's really dumb. Did Papyrus beat Santa? Well, oh my god, I thought just like Santa was getting him those gifts for Christmas every year. I don't know. My God. Is, is Sans violent? Is Papyrus violent? Like, I guess Papyrus did attack me. But, like, not even, not really. He, like, sent bones at me. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if Papyrus is the kind of guy to, to fuck with Santa. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I stews. All right, that's cute. You're cute, uh, Papyrus. That's, that's very silly. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? <sighs> Bro, I'm like 10. I don't fucking find. Okay, dating start. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's a fight. Okay. Here we are on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your keyboard for dating hut. Oh, crap. Okay, so I guess I will... I don't know what button that's going to be on the controller. Also, his fucking expressions during this are great. His little eyeballs right now? Well, I guess eye sockets? What the fuck? Yeah, does he have eyeballs? It looks like he has eyeballs. That's weird. Wowie, I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. Ahem. Human, I, the Great Papyrus, will go on a date with you. 
Okay, yes, but one second. Okay, so we have a population graph. We have a reel it in bar. We have a day of the week. It's currently Wednesday. Oh, it is. Sweet, okay. Uh, uh like a, a radar for the dog that keeps stealing Sans bones? Sa oh my God, Papyrus's bones. The dog keeps stealing Papyrus's bones. And then a, a crime something. I don't exactly understand. Is it a map showing where crime is? It's very jiggly. Okay, all right. I guess, oh, and then an egg. We have egg in the corner. Okay. I don't think any of these are going to matter. But that's fun. Let's do it. Let's go on a date. Really? Wowie! I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that. Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning. Uh, sure, man. All right. No! You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am! No, you're dating power! Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> Don't think you've busted me yet. Oh, no. Bested. Bested, not busted. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I, too, can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold... Okay. All right, he's a cool dude. Busted and boned. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. What do you think of my secret style? It's just like a baseball cap and some some shorts and a Uh shit. A shirt with no sleeves. Oh my god. Tank top? Some sneakers? Very high socks. Hmm. No! A genuine compliment! I just described things. I didn't... Oh, boy. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Basketball shoulder. Yeah, good point. He has some... He, do, he does... It seems like he has fucking basketballs on his shoulder. That's very fucking weird. What you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further, unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Oh boy. Street Sweeper. My God, it's so loud, and it just—it must just come by every Wednesday. It's—it's it's like it's every fucking Wednesday that that happens. I, I guess it's nice they're cleaning the street every Wednesday. Anyway, human souls are stronger than monster souls, but the souls of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. Where would his secret be? Um, I don't know. Have a sock? There's no secret to my legs. Just hard work and perseverance. Oh my God. Uh, okay, I don't. You know what? No, let's do it. Yep, right there. Ah, that's still the legs. Okay. All right, I appreciate that game. I appreciate... No, you could have made it so weird. Holding my hand so I'll tell you the answer. No! I must resist. How about your basketball shoulders? I see, I see. You like caressing my biceps with a floating heart. But who doesn't? The shirt? This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip, all clothing articles can be improved this way. Wait. What did it used to say? It looks like he, the C and the L are not the right font. 
So it used to just say O O dude? What? W what? Oh yeah, Dirk, I know the, the microphone won't pick up the um the street sweeper, but it is like it's like deafening. I like I can't even fucking talk or hear myself. It's it like destroys my ability to function for five seconds as it drives by. <sighs> what uh probably not your other hand. I don't know, is your baseball cap the secret thing? My hat. My hat. My hat! Yeah! Well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. All right. Okay. All right. Of course the microphone can't pick it up. It must be too heavy. All right. Okay, Derg. Fucking wait. Hold on. Do I? Hold on. I might have a thing. Here you go. Here and... Uh, that's quite long. Okay, let's stop that. I was also going to hit you with a with a sarcastic laugh, but the applause is still going. All right. How about the laugh? There we go. There you go. There you go, Derg. Seth might have a thing for Dirk Lover. All right. Okay. Okay, buddy. Don't get fucking... Don't get ahead of yourself. Do you know what this is? Is it? Is that supposed to be spaghetti? I'm gonna I'm hit him with an of course. It's spaghetti! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right. But oh, so wrong. This ain't my plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way you can go any further. All right, let's eat it. Take a small bite. You're fooling around. I know you're fooling around. Your face reflexively scrunches up. Oh, it's not delicious? The taste is indescribable. Okay, hold on. It might be delicious. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. Ah! Ah! No! Oh, damn. We broke the... We broke the meter. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um, boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. And then on the date, feelings would blossom forth. Okay, I mean, that's a perfectly valid thing. That's, you, that's perfectly allowed. You shouldn't just go on dates with people who you're already sure you love. You, sh you should give everybody a chance. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? <laughs> no, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend, and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. 
but I'll help you settle for second best. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime, platonically. Well, I gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> he just he just left us in his room. Let's. I don't know. Let's unplug all his computer cables. Oh shit! The computer's internet browser is open to a social media site. Uh oh. Can we? Oh, we can't snoop. Dang. All right. I'm mad. Let's leave. Uh, real quick. Sans. No, okay, all right. What the fuck's going on in his room? What is that crazy glowy shit? What's he doing in there? Oh, wow, it zoned me into the door, like into the room, even though I didn't push in the up direction. That was a little, little, uh, a little sloppy. Oh, okay, then I guess, I guess that's it. Hmm. He's summoning demons. He might be. Sans seems like he could actually be up to something very evil. And he would just joke about it. Um, I guess I should talk to you again. Let's hang out again sometime. Okay. And what's, what's back? Oh, I can't go back there. There's something on the wall behind Sans. No idea what it is. Uh, what do we got? This is a box. You can put an item in or take an item out. Why would you, though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. Use the box? This is just like the box that's near the save points, right? Yeah, okay. So, like, once we're full on items, we might store things. But not right now. Okay. Oh, can I walk here? I can. Okay. Okay. So I assume I'm going to try to cross and then I'm going to get knocked down to here, maybe? I don't know. Huh. The uh, pixel art for these support columns. Not great. Not great. Although I guess that's kind of the this game's deal. Like, art, the art is just good enough so you know what things are. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Okay. So that's an echo flower, so that means somebody said that. Uh huh. Will these hit me? No. They're falling past me. Okay. Um, now if they swore they saw something behind the rushing water, does that mean I should, like, go up? Hmm. Yeah. Ooh, hell yeah. There's a tutu lying on the ground here. Will you take it? Okay. Uh, did somebody want a tutu? Oh. 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 Huh. Okay. Yeah. That was fucking weird. Oh. Oh, dramatic lighting. Cool. Cool, dude. Uh, this, this is just like tall grass? What the fuck? Uh, hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Ah, uh, regarding that human I called you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well, no. I tried very hard, Undyne, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself. But Undyne, you don't have to destroy them. You see? You see? I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Uh-oh. Shit. 
I didn't think Undyne would be like super creepy. Uh, can I move? I can't move still. Okay, we're still just in a cutscene. Oh, damn. Okay. Well, that's frightening. Oh. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. What did you do to get her attention? <laughs> Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Oh. Wow, that made me feel really bad. That was a very well animated segment of that kid falling on his face. That feels bad. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. That was kind of a cop-out. Toby could do better. When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. Is this, we got a puzzle? Got a puzzle here? Uh, Are you just gonna like flow down the thing? Oh, you just go that way. Why would you go that way? It's not the direction the water's going. What the shit? What is this? Okay. Fine. That was not a puzzle. Uh oh. Random battles. Aaron. Aaron flexes in. He's a. He's a horse mer mermaid? Huh. Okay. Um. Oh, we can flex. We can flex back or we can chew him away. Let's check him out. Hey, Aaron. This sea. Oh. He's a seahorse. Duh. Holy shit. Duh. Oh my god. Wow. Damn. This game is. This game has jokes that are way too. too. above my head. Holy shit. Okay. Wow. Ooh, I feel dumb now. The seahorse has a lot of HP horsepower. Okay. Uh, that doesn't help me. All of his attacks are harder to dodge at the bottom of the box. Okay, check all you want. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Damn, dude. Hey, crazy pants. Aaron is sweating bullets literally. Gross. Let's flex back at him. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you two. Oh no. Flexing contest? Okay. Flex more. Oh fuck. Cool. Aaron is ready for your next flex. Fuck. Is it? Alright. Let's do it. You flex harder. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Attack increases for you two. Okay, we're just going to repeat that. Oh shit, Dirk, you said hippocampus. We should make a symbiote that has some kind of hippo pun with that. Let's let's just make a let's make a hippo symbiote called hippocampus. Nice. I won't lose though. Aaron is ready for your next flex. Hmm. Is this not going to work? Or is he going to, like, gas himself out? Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. Okay, okay. Wait. Hippocampus... Hippo... Hippocampus means seahorse? Now, hold on. What? No way. No way. You won. You earned zero XP and 30 gold. No way hippocampus means seahorse. That's like a part of your brain. I got a seahorse in my brain? They named part of my brain a seahorse? No fucking way. I'm looking that up. I'm fucking... I'm getting trolled by Dirk. I must be.
Wow. It's derived from the Greek hippocampus. Hippos, hippos meaning horse, campos meaning sea monster. All right. All right. You, um, what's happening here? Well, fucking Durg is trolling me, but the troll was that he wasn't trolling me, I guess. Apparently hippocampus means fucking seahorse. But really, horse sea monster. But, you know, close enough. Also, Crazy Pants, welcome to Undertale. It's a cute game. What are we doing here? If an error is made, the Bell Blossom can call bridge seeds back to where they started. Cool. Great. Okay, so actual puzzle time. So... Now, hold on. We need four of them in a row, specifically, or just touching? Can they just be touching? No, no, they gotta be in a row. Okay, alright, alright. Okay. You were mostly talking about the weird game. Uh, yeah, I don't know. This is Undertale. It, like, looks kind of bad, but that's part of the silliness of it. Okay. What? What can I even do here? How do I do this? It's like, you'll just go too far. And then I need to actually build myself a bridge to get across. And it could be, like, right here, if we went left one and then down a few. But I don't think I can do that. Hold on. What happens if we set it this way? Ooh. Okay. Yep. These flowers don't make any sense. But I get it now. All right. Uh-oh. Phone call. Uh, hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. Yeah. <laughs> so, what are you wearing? I am asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a bandana. Is that true? Are you wearing a bandana? Yeah, sure. So you are wearing a bandana. Got it. Wink, wink. Have a nice day. Okay, does... Wait, is he in on the... On the trick? Because we're not. Uh, so, Crazy Pants, a really quick summary of this game is that we were a kid who fell into, like, a monster world and we're trying to get home. And we have now found out that to get home, we have to walk through this portal that's, like, in the king's castle. But also, that portal has, like, a barrier that's keeping all the monsters inside. And... So the king needs to use a human soul to break that barrier, and so he probably wants to use our soul. Uh, and the guy we just talked to, Papyrus, told this member of the royal guard, I think the leader of the royal guard, that he would uh, catch a human for her. He likes us now. We're friends, so he didn't want to capture me. Uh, but now the head of the royal guard, Undyne, is going to try and capture us on her own. So, uh, you know, that's that's what's going on. A long time ago, monsters would whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would come true. Well, that's nice. Now all we have are these sparkling stones on the ceiling. Damn. That feels uh, reminiscent of, of a game I just played, Elden Ring. Elden Ring. There's a cool underground area with a bunch of weird... Stars in the sky. Who do we got? Who do we got here? Woshua. Shuffles up. Whoa. Okay, you're a thing filled with water with like a little bird in it. Little tiny feet. We can clean it, we can make a joke, or we can touch it. All right, let's examine it. This humble germaphobe seeks to cleanse the whole world. Okay. So it's a germaphobe, so it like lives inside of a thing. Okay. 
scrub a dub dubs tweet wait what did the bird tweeted but also said scrub a dub dubs oshua is looking for some good clean fun okay good clean fun um we probably don't want to touch it that will probably piss it off i do we clean it or do we just joke with it fuck i have like no health bro let's joke with it you tell a joke about a kid who slept in the soil. No, not a dirty joke. Oshua's powers are neutralized. Oh, okay. I guess it worked. No, no, that joke's too dirty. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay, that was actually really easy to dodge. Oshua wonders if tears are sanitary. Oh my god, I kind of want to touch him just to piss him off. All right, let's joke with him again. You tell a joke about two kids who played in a muddy flower garden. Oshua's powers are neutralized. No, that joke's too dirty. Okay, I do not understand who the the who is saying that joke's too dirty. Because at the same time, the little bird thing inside is saying tweet. Fuck. Um, I don't want to touch you. Let's clean you. You ask Woshua to clean you. No, I want to clean him. Fuck. It hops around excitedly. Green means clean. No. Oh, okay. All right. I get it. Woshua is friends with a little bird. Ah, Greg might be about to lose her open window privileges. All right, Woshua, clean me again. Yep, yep. Green means clean indeed. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Smells like detergent. Cool, we got him. Mercy. He won. All right. Damn, dude, 25 gold. What am I going to do with all this cash? I should, I should have bought more healing items. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. This sounds sad. Come on, sis, make a wish. I wish my sister and I will see the real stars someday. Oh my god. Bro, this hurts. I'm sorry, monsters. I didn't I didn't force you underground. Ah, seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. Cuz the cuz the stars don't change. I get it. Look through the telescope. Hell yeah, dude. Hmm. Oh, we can move it around. Check wall. Um. Now you mean the wall. Like it back, not in the telescope view. Oh, this looks really cool. Um, okay, how do I get out of here? So you want me to check the wall? Now, the arrow Hello. was pointing up the hallway. Jeez. Hey, dude. So I guess we'll just we'll just check this wall. Okay. Hmm. You couldn't miss the Undertale stream. You did miss one, but that's okay. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The war of humans and monsters. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed that they had nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong. It would take the soul of nearly every monster just to equal the power of a single human soul. Oh, well, that's creepy. That seems like some fucking misinformation. But humans have one weakness. Ironically, it is the strength of their soul. Its power allows it to persist outside the human body even after death. Cool. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul. A horrible beast with unfathomable power. Huh. Cool. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. Oh, and you're not going to show it to me. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. This is weirding me out. It's kind of creepy to just be floating across a dark 
probably water body of water, but like I can't really tell. That was creepy. Oh, the cool lighting again. All right. Oh shit. Is that Undyne Spear? It is. Oh fuck. Okay. Oh, bro. Oh my god. Okay. This is cool. Oh shit. Oh no. Okay, the path is changing. Okay. Okay. Oh fuck me, dude. We're good. We're good. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh, come on. Okay. 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 I'm dead. All right. Oh my god, void tur like water, but it's like a void. Sure. That shit was scary, man. Stick, stay determined. Right, her name is Stick. I am determined. Put me back in, coach. Cool, so we don't... I think that's the first time I've died? Maybe the second time. I think it's the second time. I didn't realize we don't have to go back to a save point. That's fucking sweet. Okay, I feel like if I do this right, I can just dodge every single one of these. Right? Like... The only challenge is going to be because the platform moves, or the... Oh my god. The, the shape of the path changes. Oh my lord. Oh, and I'm back at full health? Okay, game. That seems like cheating. This is cool. Oh, fuck you. I take it back. It's not cool. It's dumb. I dodged that. Oh. Oh, you're just, you're just throwing them willy-nilly now. Ah! Okay. Oh no, the kid! Oh shit. Okay, I can go now. <laughs> okay. Shit, dude. Oh, now I can't. Oh, wait. Yo, did you see that? Undying just... Touched me! I'm never washing my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky. If you were standing just a little bit to the left. Yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, that fucking fall animation, like, hurts my soul. This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. All right, let's see how that fills me with determination. Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal, it fills you with determination. I bet it does. Oh my god. Squeak. Oh, oh cute. The cheese. Ah. Ah. I can't. It's stuck in a crystal. Oh. All right, Sans. You kind of suspicious, buddy. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 G to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. I was about it. All right. Did you put, like, ink around it, like, around the thing, so I'm going to look in and then get ink on my eye? Like, what's the joke? Is is this just a picture of your butt? What's the joke, Sans? There's just nothing here. Systematically? There's either nothing here or it's a picture that's red and green dots, like the colorblind thing that I can't see. All right. Yeah, we're going to go with there's nothing here. Okay. What the fuck? Oh, my uh, you aren't satisfied? No worry. I'll give you a full refund. He did, he did, he did the thing. He did the exact fucking thing I said. All right, that's pretty funny. Um, ooh, this glowy place looks cool. 
What's your deal, buddy? What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? What are you? What are you? Oh my god, okay. Hey. Uh, it's the nice cream guy? Alright, let's- I guess we'll buy some. I relocated my store, but there are still no customers. Fortunately, I thought of a solution. Punch cards! Every time you buy a nice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a free nice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Nice cream, it's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 25G. Shit, is that a bad deal? I don't remember how fucking... I don't remember how much the twin pop was, but whatever. Super, here you go. Your card's in the box. Oh my god, his fucking face. He did all the jokes. Hmm. <laughs> I guess we take it? But then, and then we can't, this, we can use, the, it's just a box for storing punch cards. I see. Okay. Um, shit, but now my inventory is like full, right? Yeah. Shit. Okay. No. No. Collapses into a black hole. Whoa. Whoa. Because we're full on items? Okay, I don't know what to do with the tough glove. The old tutu, I feel like somebody might want. But maybe it's just an item we're supposed to equip. Hold on. Um, Let me, like... What's the deal with the old tutu? Old tutu. Armor? Armor defense? 10? Finally, a protective piece of armor. Um, What do I even have on? Something that gives me... Oh, I have the manly bandana on. Shit, I do have a bandana on. Okay. Let's put the tutu on. <laughs> Shit. Okay, we'll deposit the bandana. And I guess, you know what? Oh, the snowman piece. The snowman wants to see the world. I'll keep him with me. Okay, let's... I'm gonna go buy two more nice creams, so I've got health healing items stocked up. frozen treat that warms your heart. Okay, so we need three of these. And we'll get a free one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, one more. Okay, okay. I don't know why the card has to be in the box. I don't know why you can't just give it to me, but... Okay. Okay, dude, I got three I got three things now. Hey, you have three punch cards. How about redeeming them for some nice cream? It's free. All right. Here, a free nice cream. You lost three cards and got an ice cream. All right. Great. I assume we don't get a card for that. Um, okay. That should be enough. Four, four healing items? Yeah. Ooh, will this guy say something different if I talk to him? No. No. All right. You always got to try. Damn. I love the look of these weird effervescent pawns. Ooh, man. Ooh. Oh. Uh, duck, what's your deal? How do I... How do I get across there? No. New music. You hear a passing conversation. So? Don't you have any wishes to make? Oh. That's, that's part of a conversation, I guess. You hear a passing conversation. Hmm. Just one, but it's kind of stupid. 
Uh oh. Hmm, mold smalls. Oh. They're already the right color. Okay. I don't remember how to deal with those guys. Uh, okay, before we transition to another screen... Is that it? There's just another screen down here? Nope, okay. There's a little... Oh, uh-oh. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember what I asked you about clothes? Well, the friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very murdery. But I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. A bandana. Because I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This way you're safe and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. Click. All right. Good job, Papyrus. You technically, you, you figured your way through that difficult social situation. Okay, Woshua. Clean me up, buddy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Green do mean clean, my guy. Fuck. Fuck! Oh, there's another. Okay. Okay, so if you, there, it isn't just... You don't just have two chances. You get, like, four chances. Oh, we're already... Wow, it just, okay. We're already done. Okay. Uh... Well, shoot. Now I kind of wish I had gone to that screen transition on the left. You hear a passing conversation. Don't say that. Come on. I promise I won't laugh. I, I do want to know what their wish is now. Greg, are you okay? She just keeps climbing up on the desk and then like blasting herself off of it. The power to take their souls. This is the power that the humans feared. Okay. Okay, now hold on. Before I leave, though. Oh, shit. Fucking random battles. All right. We gotta go see what's on the other screen. What do we got? Okay, Woshua. Clean me up, buddy. Fuck. Why is this so hard to dodge? Oh, no, no, but I need- No! <laughs> Damn. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, I did- Yep. Damn. Okay, we did get it. Okay, cool. No, don't fight it. Don't fight it. Don't fight it. Okay. And 25 gold just for letting the guy clean you. What a way to make a living. Huh. You can't... No, you can. Okay, I swear I was holding left and I, it wouldn't let me walk through it, but it will. Oh! No, it, now it won't let me go up. What the hell? Okay, that's weird. Probably some kind of puzzle here. What's your deal, thing? Hmm. All right. Uh, we'll just... That's going to be a thing we don't understand. Okay, bye, Greg. Hmm. Maybe there was some kind of pattern to which mushroom was lit up and which one wasn't. I don't know. Damn, this place looks cool. Oh. Oh my. Are you the tentacle of a giant creature? Oh. Uh-oh. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Hey there. Noticed you were here. I'm Onion San. Onion San, you hear? Uh. Um. You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Oh my god. Oh, buddy. Even though the water is getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but... Hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city and living in a crowded aquarium like all my friends did. And the aquarium's full. A anyway, so even if I wanted to, I... It's okay, though, you hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Hey, there. Hey there. It's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In waterfall. Jesus Christ. Shiren. It's like a siren that's shy. Shiren hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. Fun. Ooh, okay, so sirens, like, are a mythological creature that sing songs that lead sailors to their death to wreck their ships. What if we hum to the Shiren? Conduct. I don't know what that would mean. Let's hum. You hum a jazz ballad. Shiren follows your melody. Si- Oh. Oh. Chiron seems much more comfortable singing along. Oh, we did it. All right. That was a little easy. The northern room hides a great treasure. All right. It's kind of sus. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. And an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. Hmm. There is only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. Oh my god. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death. If only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened. And now it never will. That's sus. Um, okay, well, there's a great treasure in the north, so let's go the other way. It's a statue. Structure at its feet seems dry. What? Okay. Please take one. Take an umbrella? Sure. Can I go give it to the statue? Put the umbrella on the statue. Yeah, sure, why not? Fun. There you go, buddy. Inside the statue, a music box begins to play. The music continues and doesn't stop. All right. Can I have another umbrella? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. Um... Hmm. Yo! You got an umbrella? Awesome! Let's go! What's your deal, dude? How do you keep just showing up? Huh. Okay, damn. Now I'm starting to think there actually is a treasure in the north of that cavern. And it wasn't just a trick. Man, Undyne is so cool. 
She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night, knowing she was going to beat me up. Ha <laughs> ha. Hmm. So one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. One moment. Greg is trying to play with things she shouldn't play with. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. What the fuck? Hmm. All right, I'm going back to the treasure. That's your reason, too. Damn it. That's your reason, too, what? Fuck. Stream delay fail. See you later. Nothing. Oh my god. Also, huh? There's a piano here. Okay. Cool. A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. You now what? Hmm. Okay, there's some background noise here, but it's very quiet. This? Do I need to play the music box song? There's no hope of me doing that. All right. I guess we're not going to get the sweet treasure. I was about to ask why this weird fucking kid doesn't just get their own umbrella. They don't have arms. That's unfortunate. Um, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Oh. What a shot. Uh, can I, can I move? Oh, I can move. Okay. Cool. You checking out the castle, dude? Yeah, I'll check out the castle with you. Oh, let's check out the castle. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Cute. All right, I guess, uh, I guess I'll keep the umbrella still. Or not. Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Um. Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Put up your umbrella and climb on my shoulders. Okay. Uh, all right. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. Oh my god, bro. Oh. 
if if that kid dies by tripping and like falling onto spikes or something, I'm going to fucking lose my mind. The serene sound of a distant music box. It fills you with determination. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. It does sound like us. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful, and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken, and countless monsters were turned to dust. Wait, are you implying that not a single human died? That seems wrong. Uh oh. Wow, cool. Shit. <laughs> cool music. Oh my god, this place is huge! Where am I going? Oh my god! Fuck. It's a dead end. What's your deal, Undyne? Oh, shit. Okay. It sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Stick, huh? That's a nice name. My name is... something. Okay. Where are we at now? Place with a bunch of trash? Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. Sweet. Very symmetrical piles of garbage. Beautiful. All right. The the trash fills you with determination. The waterfall here seems to flow from the ceiling of the cavern. Occasionally, a piece of trash will flow through and fall into the bottomless abyss below. Reviewing this endless cycle of worthless garbage fills you with determination. All right. Now... Yeah. Beat up desktop computer. The inside is empty. Aw, well, then it's just a tower. It's not a computer. Well, that's a, a weird thing to think about. What makes a car a car? If you just had a wheel, you, it, it'd be crazy if somebody called it a car. But if you had the whole, f the outer metal frame of a car, that still seems wrong to call that a car. But, but less wrong, somehow. It's a cooler. It has no brand and shows no signs of wear. Inside are a couple of freeze-dried space food bars. Take one? I want both! Give me both! You got the astronaut food. Give me the give me the fucking other one! Yeah! Is that it now? Great. Okay. Game. It's a DVD case for an anime. Sweet. Desperate claw marks cover the edges. Oh boy. Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? No, no. You stare into each other's eyes for a moment.
Oh no. Okay, buddy. Haha, <laughs> too intimidated to fight me, huh? I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy too until you came along. When you talked to them, they thought they were in for a nice chat. But the things you said, horrible, shocking, unbelievable. It spooked them right out of their dummy. Human, I'll scare your soul out of your body. <sighs> Alright. Okay. Mad dummy blocks the way. Cool. Cool music. This game has a lot of cool music. Well, all we can do is talk to him. Uh, obviously, other than check him. Let's just talk to him. Talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. Feeble, feeble, feeble. Okay. All right. Oh my god, what a cute attack. Ah. Oh. Ow, you dummies. Watch where you're aiming your magic attacks. Hey, you forget I said anything about magic. Shit. I don't, um, will I accidentally kill him this way? Let's just check on him. Attack 30, defense yes. Because they're a ghost, physical attacks will fail. I'll defeat you and take your soul. Hmm. The dummy's voice is now sounding a lot like Papyrus. Oops. Okay, so I can... Can I aim that better? Mad Dummy glares into a mirror, then turns to you with the same expression. <laughs> you talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Oh my god. I'll use your soul to cross the barrier. Okay, so not you guys. You guys won't help, but you guys. Come on, shoot up here. Blast that bitch. Damn. Only one hit. Smells like a clothing store. Oh my god. Oh my god. This character's a JoJo reference. That's fun. How so? I'll stand in the window of a fancy store. Oh no, boys. Oh no. Oh shit. I was too focused on the setup for the attack. Oh my god. Oh, also, they barely do any damage. Okay. Mad Dummy's doing an armless ska dance. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then everything I want will be mine. When you stand in a window? Oh shit, I didn't. You're over there right now. Dang. Mad Dummy's getting caught in all over the dialogue box. Oh my god. He repeats phrases with increasing intensification down to his music doing the same thing. Okay. Where does Jojo come in? I don't know anything about Jojo. I, 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 I want to watch the series. Maybe I should read the manga, but it seems like a really fucking weird anime. And I like really fucking weird things. Huh? Yeah, I guess that'll avenge my cousin. Oh fuck! No, you guys. What are you? Okay, please shoot. No, not that. Not there. Not there. Shoot over here. Fuck. All right. He also repeats Dio's catchphrase: "Futile, futile, futile." Okay, there we go. Cool. Yeah, the only thing I know about JoJo is there's a bunch of characters named after like musicians. And then also, like a few season ends, there's there are weird things called stands, and I don't really get those, but I've seen a bunch of weird anime jokes about them. What was their name again? Wait, your cousin? Oh no 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 no! I wasn't in. Oh, we got him. Cool. 
God, okay, I'm, I should not do talk anymore because all we need to do is like skip and that takes a lot longer than just whatever, whatever, whatever. Damn, bro. You gotta chill out, man. Oh, fuck. No, he's staying over there now. Fuck. Keep thinking he'll be moving during the blast. Okay, let's just... No. I did want to just check him. Took a while to notice how his song also repeats three times in an increasing manner. The note's not the song itself. For sure. That is cool. Oh, hey, there's the pitiful, pitiful, pitiful. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay, that was kind of hard to dodge. Okay, now he's going to go over there, though. Cool. We got him with one. Feeble, feeble, feeble. Cute. Oh, shit. Wow, that still hit him. Okay. Fuck, bro. How much more do I need to do? No, I need to be over there. All right. My fault. Okay, where are you going to be? You're going to be over here. All right. Damn, bro. Okay, and then now be over here. Oh, come on. That's fucking good. Hey, guys. Oh, my God. Dummies. 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 Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well, failures. You're fired. You're all being replaced. Oh, that's mean. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Now you'll see my true power. Relying on people that aren't garbage. Mechanical words fill the room. Uh-oh. You want to talk yet, buddy? No. No, okay. <laughs> Tummy bots. Magic missile! Oh my god. Oh, that's cute. Oh, fuck. Cool. Got him. The, uh, the, the little bullet hell dodging stuff is more fun than I thought it would be for this game. Tummy bots, try again! Oh, shit! Okay, 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 like that? Ooh! That seems weirdly easy. Tummy bots, you're awful?! Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, okay. I see. I see. It's like a... Because they started attacking me at different times, they're all going to leave at different times. All right. You want to talk yet, buddy? No, he doesn't. All right. Tummy bots, final attack. Oh, shit. Wait, the other guys are back. They're fired. They were fired. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, bro. Ooh. I feel like he jumped into that. No way. These guys are even worse than the other guys. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends. I've got nine. Uh, all right. I'm out of knives. But it doesn't matter. You can't hurt me and I can't hurt you. You'll be stuck fighting me forever. 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 <laughs> okay. All right. The knife was also a JoJo reference. What the heck is this? Ah, acid rain. Oh, forget it. I'm out of here. Sweet. We, we win, I guess. Oh, hey. Sorry, I interrupted you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no, you guys look like you were having fun. Oh no, I just wanted to say hi. Oh no. Weird. Well, I'm going to head home now. Oh, um, feel free to come with if you want. But no pressure. I understand if you're busy. It's fine. No worries. Just thought I'd offer. Hmm. Hmm. 
Your boy Blukey. That's his name. Hey, my house is up here. In case you want to see. Or in case you don't. Oh my god. You feel a calming tranquility. You're filled with determination. North. Bluke Acres. East. Hotland. Some other direction. Temi Village. Alright. Oh my god. Cute. Oh, you really came. Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. It's not much, but make yourself at home. Oh. Oh, are you hungry? I can get you something to eat. Is he just gonna, like, phase inside? This is a ghost sandwich. You want to try it? Okay. You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You phase right through it. Oh, never mind. After a great meal... Oh, after a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. It's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? All right. Okay. Follow my lead. Here we go. You'll lie down as long as you don't move. So only move around when you want to get up, I guess. Sweet. Oh, the music stops. Oh, cool, dude. Cool. I almost missed this. Trippy, man. Greg. All right. I got to go close the window. I'll be right back. The heck was in that sandwich? Drugs. Jeez. So I thought Greg was just trying to like claw her way through the window screen. Whoops. But uh, but actually what she was doing, there's like a plant waving in the wind and she's like trying to attack it. Which is, it's probably also not good, but, you know, she wasn't really... She was being stupid, not being mischievous. Okay, yeah, dude, this is fucking cool. Okay, I think we should get up. But that is very cool. Well, that was nice. Thank you. That was nice. Oh, that's my TV. There's a show I like to watch on it, sometimes. Alright, we got the same computer as uh, Papyrus. Computer's internet browser is open to a music sharing forum. Hell yeah, dude. Cool. It's a spider web. There's a flyer for a bake sale on it. Oh my god. Good reference. The CD is labeled Gooliday Music. Like holiday? Play it. Sure. You play the CD. Hmm. The CD is labeled Spook Wave. Hell yeah. Okay, I like this one. These both sound familiar so far. Spook tunes. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Okay, so they're all just the same song, but... Oh no. All right. Can I turn that off? Yeah, yeah.
All right, well, that was cool. Oh, boy. What the fuck is going on here? Oh. Hey, dude. Awkward. I'm working right now. I mean, welcome to Bluke Family Snail Farm. Yeah, I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business, but our main customer disappeared one day. Now it's just some hairy guy that shows up once a month. What? I missed an Easter egg. Oh, I bet I've missed so many Easter eggs, cheese. Like, I'm I I'm like twenty. I bet, probably. Uh, snail looks a little weird. Something seems a little weird about that snail. Let's talk to the little snail. It's a snail. For some reason, you can't help but wonder what it tastes like. No, no, I don't. I fucking don't. Shut up, game. Snail, snail. A long journey extends in front of you. Snail, snail. Reach far and stretch beyond the horizons. Snail, snail. So snaileth Sam Beule. Okay. That seems like a reference that I don't get. This is just like a guy. I've been long overdue for a second house. It, is there a snail living inside the guy? I don't... What? This snail is counting dollar bills. Okay, so the guy bought the snail's shell. Holy shit, what the fuck? Alright. Oh, are we gonna race him? You wanna play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. The snails will race... And if the yellow snail wins, you win. It's 10G to play. All right. Okay. Press Z repeatedly to encourage your snail. Oh, fuck. I'm not. I'm specifically playing this game so I don't have to spam buttons. Fuck. All right. Oh. He's very slow. <laughs> We've been scammed. What? Luke, you suck. Wow. Oh. Looks like you encouraged your snail too much. All that pressure to succeed really got to her. Oh. Oh my god. All right, no encouragement. Actually, one. We'll give it one. And no, we'll do none. First time, none. Shit. She's gonna lose. Do I know how to shirt mash? No. The fuck does that mean? The fuck you talk about shirt mash? I know how to half press a button. All right, we're gonna lose. How about one one lap of encouragement? Not enough. Oh, you both tried your best, but the snail looks discouraged. Her best wasn't good enough. Oh, all right. You put the edge of your shirt between your thumb and controller and then just rub back and forth. Huh. All right, that seems like a reasonable thing to do. Kind of weird. But I could see it being effective. Oh, where the fuck else? Was there something on the left? And then this is... Okay, so I didn't go up here. Whoa. Oh, a dummy. 
Doesn't seem like anyone's home. Okay, you know what? Maybe that's for the better. What? 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 It's a living. What's a being a haunted doll? Oh, hey, the duck. This little bird wants to carry you across. Accept the bird's offer? Ah, uh, no. No, that's fine. So I guess that bird will let us backtrack. I wonder why we would want to do that. Whoa. Whoa there! I've got some neat junk for sale. Oh my. Anything you want to know? Tell me about yourself. I have been around for a long time, maybe too long. Studying history sure is easy when you've lived through so much of it yourself. What? Ha ha. That emblem. What emblem? Oh, back there. Eh? You don't know what that is? What are they teaching you kids in school nowadays? Ha ha ha. That's the Delta Rune, the emblem of our kingdom. The kingdom of monsters. Cool. Cool. Here's what. Is, there's this, the next game that Toby Fox made was Delta Rune, but I think it's a prequel to this? Did I find Tem Village? I don't think so. Doesn't doesn't ring a bell. We found Snowden. I don't think I found Tem Village though. Oh, the sign did say there was some village to the left. So maybe we could go back and find it if we had the bird carry us across the water. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Great name, huh? It's as I always say. Old King Fluffy Buns can't name for beans. Oh. This we get a new thing. That emblem actually predates written history. The original meaning has been lost to time. All we know is that the triangles symbolize us monsters below, and the winged circle above symbolizes something else. Most people say it's the angel from the prophecy. Okay, let's ask about the prophecy. Oh yeah, the prophecy. Legend has it an angel who has seen the surface will descend from above and bring us freedom. Lately, the people have been taking a bleaker outlook. Call in that winged circle the Angel of Death. A harbinger of destruction waiting to free us from this mortal realm. In my opinion, when I see that little circle, I just think it looks neat. <laughs> Alright. Tell me about the king. King Fluffy Buns. He is a friendly, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. If you keep walking around long enough, you'll probably meet him. He loves to walk around and talk to people. Nah? Why do I call Dreamer Fluffy Buns? Oh, that's a great story. I don't remember it. But if you come back later, I'm sure I'll have remembered it by then. Okay, so the king's name was Dreamer? Dreamur? Undyne? Yeah, she's a local hero around here. Through grit and determination alone, she fought her way to the top of the royal guard. Actually, she just came through here asking about someone who looked just like you. I'd watch your back, kid. And buy some items. It just might save your hide. Alright. What you got? Crab apple. Okay. It looks like a crab. Alright. Hmm. Heals 10 HP. Raises your speed in battle. That's cool. Buy his shell? What the fuck? I can buy a shell? Hold on. We can buy cloudy glasses. Oh, buy, like, the snail. Like, the snail. Yeah, I don't think this guy would be into that. Armor. Five defense. Oh, it's five, five, minus five. It's five lower than what we have. You're invincible longer. Oh, like, when you get hit during the, like, bullet hell stuff. Okay. Hmm. Okay, then actually it might be worth buying this notebook because I'm never going to attack, but being invincible longer is nice. Sure. 
No, don't buy another one. Okay. Be careful out there, kid. Alright, turtle man. Let me put that notebook on. Cool. I guess we can sell him our stick. Seems wrong for Stick to sell his stick. I heard if you want to sell stuff, the Temi Village is your best bet. Where is it? I don't remember. Shit. Okay, maybe we do go find it. I choked on my last sip of tea. Sag. Okay. So it's not north and it's not east. Could be south. Could be west. Uh, okay, I guess I'll save and then I'll have the duck take me across. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Filled with determination. Mm-hmm. All right, duck. All right. <laughs> you can help me get there. Is it is it something I could find on my own or is it like actually hard to find? Damn, you have a lot of food now. It depends, you guess. Oh my god. Okay, is it essential I find it? If it's just an Easter egg and I miss it, that's okay. So there was this weird thing that I didn't fucking understand. If I want to sell stuff, honestly. Oh, it's a pair of ballet shoes. Will you take it? All right. You got the ballet shoes. They're a weapon. These used shoes make you feel incredibly dangerous. Huh. Okay, so I guess that's what was there. If I want to sell stuff, yes. Ah, it's all right. I'm okay with missing secrets. And I don't really need to sell stuff that bad. All right, Doug. Take me back across. <laughs> God. Okay. All right, game. Speed it up. Let's go. Can you make a guess of where you think it is? Yeah, sure. Probably some obvious stuff I missed, you know? You bet it has to do with the piano. Ooh, yeah, probably. Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we surrendered to the humans. Seven of their greatest magicians sealed us underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. Oh. There is only one way to reverse this spell. If a huge power equivalent to seven human souls attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. Cool. You have no idea how you're supposed to find out the piano on my own. Well, I, I mean, I found the piano and then it says to like play a song to like play along to a song that's like in the caverns. I feel like if I was musically inclined, I could do that. Actually, I could if I sat down and like 
I don't know what you would do, like record all the different songs that are in the nearby and then play play them. Try to learn to play them on the weird piano that has five. You can only press five different keys. Maybe it was six. I don't know. It doesn't seem like a fun puzzle to figure out, though. This cursed place has no entrance or exits. There is no way a human could come here. We will remain trapped down here forever. Oh, that's sad. Okay. Oh, that's cute. Your relative pitch is pretty garbage, dude. Mine is... Atrocious. Yo. Oh my god. Oh hey, a Temi. Probably from the Temi village. Special enemy Temi appears here to defeat you. Feed Temi flakes. Oh my god. All right. You can find out how to get to Tem Village in this room. Oh my. Let's feed Temmy some Temmy Flakes. Temmy only wants the Temmy Flakes. No, so hungry. Dies. Well, wait. W no, but w wait. What? She died, though. Temmy is trying to glomp you. All right, let's check it. Rated 10 out of 10. Loves to pet cute humans, but you're allergic. Oh, boy. Oh, I'm Tammy. Oh, boy. Oh, oh Jesus. What the fuck, game? Tammy vibrates intensely. I have some more Tammy flakes. No, so hunger. Dies. I don't, like, what am I supposed to fucking do? Temmie forgot her other attack. You want to talk, Temmy? You say hello to Temmy. Oh, I'm Temmy. Oh, my God. Oh, my. How the fuck? God damn it, game. Okay, I guess we did it. Did we just, do we really just have to talk to her? Oh my god, bro. Oh yeah, if it was just the statue song, that would have been my first guess as to what to try and play. If I were musically inclined. Also, hey, do. Oh. Well, well, now, hold on. Do I have to go back? Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay. Down that path. There was a path I could go down that I didn't go down? Hold on. Oh, shit, Vulp! Hey, dude. Thanks for the raid. Welcome, uh, welcome to Undertale. It's a weird fucking game. We're a tiny child trying to escape from a world of monsters back to the human world. Ah, I'm trying to not kill anybody. I don't remember how to fight these guys without killing them. Do we flirt with them? I think we flirt with them. We, we wiggle our hips. Oh. Uh-oh. I don't remember that happening. Okay. Flirting seems like not the right choice. Holy shit. Mold big gyrates reservedly. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. First playthrough for real? Yeah, yeah. I know fucking nothing about this game. Except what I have learned this session and the previous session. Unhug. Bro, I don't know. I'm gonna hug you. 
You hug mold big. Gross slime covers you. Your speed decreased. Okay. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Yeah, I might. Okay, it's actually harder to move. That is brutal. Ow, fuck. Mold big needs some distance. Okay. Okay. Here, I'll unhug you. You don't hug mold big. It appreciates your respect of its boundaries. Slime sounds. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. Oh, I'm still slow. All right. Okay. He's comfortable with my presence. Great. We can finally spare him. All right. Uh, okay. So I didn't see a second path. Whatever. We'll just we'll just keep moving on. Oh my god. It's really easy to get stuck on things if you use the joystick. The game is kind of janky. Without candles or magic to guide them home, the monsters used crystals to navigate. Okay. Well, now hold on. Um, I mean, I can kind of see. Kind of. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. How does Stick understand these monsters so well? Maybe Stick is a monster. Probably not, but that would be fun. Woshua and Aaron appear. Okay. Uh oh, it's probably Wash like Wash you. Washua cuz he washes me. All right. I guess clean me up, Wash person. Oh shit, they're going to both attack me at the same time. That's going to make that very difficult to deal with. Fuck. Smells like a muscle farm. Fucking gross, bro. Okay, let's get rid of Washua. And deal with Flexi Man. Oh, fuck. Aaron is splashing you playfully. Alright, dude, let's let's fucking let's flex fight. How does stick manipulate these monsters by their insecurities so well? Sometimes. Sometimes we're just nice to them, you know? Sometimes that's all they need. I guess that can count as a form of manipulation. All right. Flexing contest, okay. I can't remember if this is actually how I have to beat him. Yeah, right, we flex a few times in a row and then he, like, kills himself. I should try shooing him just to see what that does. Nice, <laughs> I won't lose, though. Oh my god, bro. What the? All right. I swear I'm accelerating weirdly in that during the attack where he's flexing at me. Okay, great. He killed himself. Sweet. Okay, that's a dead end. That's frustrating. Okay, no, 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 okay. Okay. Okay, I can see another light. Uh, this seems like a dead end. Yep. Okay. And the art in this game is, like, kind of bad, but also kind of cool. It exists in such a weird place. Okay, Moldvig wants me to respect his fucking boundaries. Great. Oh, fuck. Right, if we don't have the dude wash us, it's a different attack. Oh, oh, yeah, baby. All right. So let's just get rid of Mold Big. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, clean me up, buddy. Oh, my God. oh this fucking game is insane. Oh, no, I needed that. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. All right. Cool. I miss Time Village. It's fine. It's fine. I just want to experience this game. I don't need to experience everything in it. You know? 
I could go down that dead end in the previous room. Oh, that's interesting. The game will hunt me there eventually sounds very ominous. You corrected it to hint, but... Hunt sounds very creepy. Immediate weird vibes. Um, all right, I'll just keep walking. Oh, there's a flower. Behind you. Ah, shit. All right. Timmy's gonna grab a shotgun and find me. Yeah, maybe. Also, I assumed a Temi village was... There was a, there's a bunch of them there. Is the plural of one Temi... Singular is Temi, plural is Temi? I guess, yeah, if it's a Temi village. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. All right, never mind. I don't know. Seven? Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore, dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. How would I even do that? I don't know how to do that. Uh-oh. Undyne! I'll help you fight! Yo! You did it! Undyne is right in front of you! You've got front row seats to her fight! Wait, who is she fighting? Hey, hey, you aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? Oh my god, no way. Okay, wait, shit, does that mean Undyne's kind of... She's like kind of a good person a little bit? A group of Temi is called a Temi? Alright. I fucking hate that, but alright. Where are his parents? Yeah, good question. So she just bailed on, like, achieving a very important thing. To, to like, take that kid back to his parents? Like, what a weird fucking thing. You are gonna tell my parents about this, are you? Right. Because it's a fucking echo flower. Holy shit. Okay. All right. That was silly. Fun little pixel effects. Oh, we should read the, the fucking echo flowers, duh. You hear a passing conversation. Hmm, if I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me? Oh my god, it's that conversation. Of course I won't laugh. Someday, I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world all around? That's my wish. You hear laughter. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. Sorry, it's just funny. That's my wish too. Oh, that's cute. However, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface. They will return and the underground will go empty. Oh, that's scary. All right. That's a good prophecy. Nice and nice and vague. Could be good, could be bad. Yo! Oh, it's the kid again. How did you escape Undyne, bro? Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, you're human, right? <laughs> Man, I knew it. Well, I know it now, I mean. Undyne told me, um, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something. But I kind of stink at that. <laughs> you know, say something mean so I can hate you? Please? Nah. Yo, what? So I have to do it? Here goes nothing. Yo, I, I hate your guts. Man, I, I'm such a turd. <laughs> I'm gonna go home now. Oh my god.
Yo, wait, help, I tripped. Oh my God. All right. Yo, dude. If if you want to hurt my friend, you're going to have to get through me first. Well, that's very sweet. What? She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. Guess being enemies was just a nice thought. Haha. <laughs> we'll just have to be friends instead. Man, I should really go home. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. Later, dude. Oh my god, finally. Okay. Okay, so Undyne could have just grabbed him and, like, moved him out of the way again, but she didn't. So then, did we win over Undyne by being nice? Is Undyne like, ah, oh, shit, he's nice. I can't kill him. Or take his soul out of his body, which is is probably murder. Seven. Seven human souls, and King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we've collected thus far. Understand? Okay, damn, I thought they were way further away. Okay, that makes way more sense that they would be so focused on getting me. All right. If through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago. No, Undyne, I saw the game intro. I saw, I saw the intro. It's okay. No? You know what? Screw it! Why should I tell that story? You're about to die! Gah! Oh boy. You! Oh, is she the person whose house we knocked on? She's like a fish lady? You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams. Alfie's history books made me think humans were cool. With their giant robots and flowery swords women. But you, you're just a coward. Hiding behind that kid so you could run away from me again. And let's not forget your wimpy goody two-shoes shtick. Oh, I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers. Oh my god, her fucking face in the dialogue box. Holy shit. That was her house? Okay, cool. You know what would be more valuable to everyone? If you were dead. That's right, human. Your continued existence is a crime. Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. Everyone's been waiting their whole lives for this moment. But we're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. Now, human, let's end this right here, right now. I'll show you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. Sorry, just, just let me save. The wind is howling. You're filled with determination. Oh boy. That's it then. No more running away. Here I come. Oh shit. She just fucking dove at me. On guard. Good music. Good music. Hey, Radio Demon. How's it going? We can plead or challenge her. Hmm. It's going good? All right. Okay, first we got to check her out. 50 attack. The heroine that never gives up. I don't know if you get to be a heroine if you're trying to murder a child. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on. You won't last a second against me. I don't really get what that means. Wait. Fuck. Okay, that was weird. Undyne bounces impatiently. Fuck. What happens if we challenge her? 
You tell Undyne her attacks are too easy. She doesn't care. When I said face towards danger, I mean face towards the bullets. Yeah, I still don't really... Like... I can block them... The bullets get faster. Oh, shit. Not bad. Then how about this? Okay, so I still... Face toward the danger. I don't know what that means, lady. I don't change how I'm facing. I'm always facing the same spot. Let's plead with her. On a scale of 1 to 10, how do I like the music? Ooh. I don't know if the music is, like, really listenable, like... I don't know if I'm going to go be in the mood to listen to the whole soundtrack, but the the music is like a 9 or a 10. Like, when, when it starts playing, it, it does a good job of going along with the moment. Like, her music re starting up when, when the fight started. Uh, there was some cool music previously in the cave I was in. There's, there's definitely good music. Like, good... good I don't know, like, good audio engineering, good use of the music. I don't know if the music itself is, like I said, listenable later. But it, it, it does so good for the game. It, like, fits perfectly. It's fucking great. You told Undyne you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. For years we've dreamed of a happy ending. Okay, so am I not supposed to block these? Undyne flips her spear impatiently. Hmm. Just wait till Undertale and Reunited or his theme that you play on repeat when you're feeling emotional. Hmm. It could happen. It could happen. A lot of these songs are on the edge of being something that I would, like, be humming after, uh, after playing. You've been trying to count out the time signatures and you're struggling. It is really interesting music. Does that mean it's complex? If it's hard to count out the time signature? Damn, this song is really cool. You tell Undyne her attacks are too easy. The bullets get faster. And now sunlight is just within reach. Okay, so maybe she means I need to face danger, as in I need to keep calling her out? Undyne po points heroically toward the sky. Too easy, Undyne. Come on, let's fucking go. It just means it's different. Hmm. I'm not a music guy. Oh, fuck. Jesus, dude. Undyne Suplex is a huge boulder just because she can. Damn, that's pretty cool, Undyne. Please don't kill me. You're fucking cool realize that I'm nice and you want to help me. Fuck, bro. I Can I actually not? Oh, shit. Okay. So I'm no longer green. I definitely need to heal. Let's eat some ice cream. Are those claws natural? Your HP was maxed out. What the fuck? <laughs> You're tough. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck. Okay, okay. This is weirdly easy to dodge. Huh. You're just not musically inclined, but it seems like a lot are not 4-4. Four, four, which you don't usually notice. You're not musically inclined. You can beat fucking Crypt of the Necro whatever on the with the hardest characters, and you, you're not musically inclined. Hmm. If above 7... Would I say, does it compete with the music of Tears of the Kingdom? Hmm, I've only played about, like, 15 hours of Tears of the Kingdom, and I don't know, the music, I don't, I can't remember any music from that game. And, and maybe that would be because I've played, like, every other Zelda game, so, like, if there was a, a new version of an old song, I don't think I would necessarily remember the Tears of the Kingdom version. Try mercy, whoa, cheese. No, don't, no backseating. No backseating. 
I mean, Spare and Flea are essentially kind of what I expected. We've had those before. I guess I could just try to run from her. Undyne holds her fist in front of her and shakes her head. Oh, she mad. Open world Zelda music is kind of mid compared to the rest of the series. Yeah, definitely. A Ocarina of Time and A Link to the Past have amazing fucking music. That shit I get stuck in my head all the time. Alright, let's challenge her again. Let's see what other attacks she has. The bullets get unfair. Wait, but there's no more bullets. It's just this. Oh, we turned green again. Shit. Undyne thinks of her friends and pounds the ground with her fists. It's really cool the way that, like, combat progresses the story. That's so interesting. We were doing Hatsune Miku runs, and it was interesting having the Arya mechanic, but still having health. Oh, yeah, right, the new character. Have you beaten it with her yet? Skyward Sword's music was incredible, too. Ooh, yeah, there are a few songs from Skyward Sword that I like, which is saying a lot because I did not like Skyward Sword. I really did not enjoy that game. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay, yeah, we're back to this. Undyne draws her finger across her neck. Your attacks are too slow, girl. Come on. Honestly, killing you now is an act of mercy. Oh, 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 good fucking trick. Oh my god, that just ruined me. Undyne flashes a menacing smile. No, oh, it's too easy. It's too fucking easy. Go harder. Oh, oh my god. Okay, we might we might be just getting repeats at this point. Shit, hopefully she doesn't kill me with this attack. Stop being so damn resilient. Oh, fuck. All right. I'm going to eat some more nice cream. And then we'll try to run away. What the hell are humans made out of? At this point, mostly nice cream. Fuck. Oh, my God. Really? All right. All right. Ooh, what if we just try to spare her? Have I heard of Undertale the Musical? You mean from Man on the Internet? No, I have not heard of any Undertale the Musical. It's hard for you to utilize diagonals, and one of her mechanics is that when enemies are in a line, you dash through all of them, which gets you killed all the time. Yeah, that sounds horrible. Don't eat so much nice cream, I'll ruin my appetite. Look, nobody's making me dinner, you know? There's no, there's, there's no reason to not ruin my appetite. Anyone else would be dead by now. Well, they should go buy some nice cream. Oh, damn, she fucking swiped me. Hmm. Okay, so we can flee when we're uh, when we're red. Alphys told me humans were determined. Fuck. One of the arrows, like, jumped. It was facing the wrong way, and it jumped around to still hit me. That's very funny. Shit, bro. I see now what she meant by that. Oh, okay. I, yep. Yep. Bro. Okay, I should have run. Shit. Can I eat the snow piece? I'm sorry, snowman. Oh, no! I did eat him! Oh no! Oh fuck! But I'm determined too! Oh no! Fuck! They're all just... Oh my god. Alright, she suplexes a boulder because she can. Fuck, dude. Oh my god. Determined to end this right now! Fuck. Okay, so I should absolutely understand at this point how uh, how to how to turn red, but I still don't fully. It just seems like she hits me eventually, and I turn red. Wow, cheese! You didn't get the pun. Cheese, have you played Undertale? 
Surely a whole playthrough is enough time to get the pun. Ooh. Damn it, Undyne. I guess I'll go back to, back to pleading with you until I turn red. Oh, shit. There was unique text. It said she remembers someone. And her attacks become a little less extreme. Okay, I don't know about that. It smells like sushi. Because she's, like, sweating. You told Undyne she just wants to be friends. She remembers someone. Her attacks become a little less extreme. Okay. I'm just gonna fucking die, bro. Fuck. Undyne flips her spear impatiently. God, die already, you little brat! Oh my god, dude. Fuck. Alright, okay, we did actually die. It cannot end now. Stick. Stay determined. Fun music. Alright. If I want to see something funny, maybe... In this fight. All right, sure. I assume I need to do something. Shit. Great. It, it just loaded us back, so we have our snow piece back. Hopefully I don't have to eat it. Undertale the musical. The not-so-cringe-you-will-throw-up one. Okay, so there are two Undertale the musicals. It's a semi-animated musical that puts lyrics to every single song. That's cool. Get hit by the tutorial attack. All right. As long as you're green, you can't escape. She, wow, she did directly say that, okay. You have to face danger head on. Like, does she actually mean just get hit? Well, we're still, we're still green. Hmm. Every time, keep getting hit. Okay, all right. Yeah, cheese stick does have a stick. Uh, I think, yeah, I think I still have it. I unequipped it recently. I don't want to fight, Undyne. When I said face towards danger, I meant face toward the bullets. It's weird though, because I'm a heart. Like, I'm not really facing toward anything. You're, it's my soul. I don't, where, where is my soul face? Look, I gave you a spear to block the bullets with. Do I have to explain this any more clearly? You gave me a spear to block the bullets? That the, the thing is a spear? Interesting. Hmm. I think she's done telling me I'm stupid. What are you doing? Okay, maybe not. Just face upwards. It's not hard. Now, like this? You mean like this? <laughs> All right. Let's see if this continues to escalate. I wanted this to be a fair fight. I thought if I beat you like this, it'd truly show how strong monsters can be. But now, I don't care. I'm not your freaking kindergarten teacher. Unless your kindergarten teacher does this. All right. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it. I blocked one. Oh, it was it was right at the time to kill me. That's very funny. Shit. Okay. Oh, my God. Now, at that point, that seems like we saw the culmination. And then you're red. After I missed one, though, right? Like, do I just need to miss? Or after I was, I guess it was after I block. Shit, did I just accidentally attack her? I don't know why I was tapping X. Shit. Oh, also, I do have 
<laughs> Shit. Okay. All right. All right. All right. You have to take damage on each one. Hmm. Okay. So don't don't fight her. Don't do that. You don't have to. Oh my. Okay. There's a disagreement about what I, exactly I have to do to turn red. I meant face towards the bullets. Okay, so what if we get hit by one? Is she still mad about it? Look, I gave you a spear to block the bullets with. Do I have to explain this any more clearly? I did, I blocked some. Fine. Fine. It's just when something about flicking the spear. Not bad. Then how about this? All right. Let's let's purposely get hit by a few. Undyne draws her finger across her neck. Just okay, when Undyne flicks the spear. Nah, it's all good, Radio Demon. So then, like, I just keep blocking until she tries to hit me with the spear, and then I get hit by the spear. I thought there was something I could do to trigger her hitting me with the spear. For such a simple story, it is cool to, uh, like, I understand the motivations of all the characters. It's cool to feel like Undyne is at least semi-justified in fighting me. Need some ice cream. I won't let you snatch it away from us. Look, Undyne. I'm sorry. Also hilarious that she couldn't kill like a 10-year-old. Did I go on the date with Pap Papyrus? Hell yeah, I did. He just needs more time, and then he'll be deeply in love with me. Oh, fuck. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. All right. Let's run away. Oh, my God, right? The little heart runs away. Oh, shit! Oh, sh I Okay. Oh, my God. This is, like, multi... Oh, no. Oh, okay. Okay. I, th I thought that was it. Oh, my God. The only way to trigger the red early is the kindergarten skip. Holy shit. So... If I had blocked most of those hits, but still gotten hit by one each time, would it still escalate toward the kindergarten skip? Because she seemed to still think I didn't get it, even when I did actually block some of the attacks to be like, look, I get it. Interesting. All right. I don't want to fight, Undyne. Honestly, I'm doing you a favor. <laughs> Alright, th this this song is fucking sweet. No human has ever made it past Asgore. Uh oh. That's a trick. That's a bait. It's like sushi. Oh my god. Uh this game is very silly. All right, we saw that line before. All right, come on, just fucking smack me. There we go. Damn, almost dodged the extra spear. All right. Okay, so when I run, I need to actually be pre prepared. If her first attack hits you at all, you're doing something wrong. Yeah, but that that's like a good point. But like, it's weird that she's acting like I don't get it when I'm like, it's like I'm at that point. She should think I'm fucking with her, right? She should be like, why did you block like some of my attack? That's fucking weird. Child. Oh, shit. I did not expect the fucking camera change. 
You escaped from me for the last time. Well, you did say that last time. Oh, shit. This music is a little bit repetitive. It's a very cool song, though. Oh, wow. I can't believe I blocked all those. That is surprisingly difficult. Fuck. Wrong order. Oh my- oh boy, okay. You just, like... You get offset in how you're processing it, and then you're just too late on every single thing you do. Oh fuck, I'm close to dying. I really should have brought more ice cream to the fight. Oh my god, lady. Fuck. Are you getting tired, Undyne? Oh my god. Almost had that. Die already, you little brat! Fuck. Okay, okay, okay. I might survive. I might survive. The original Undyne theme was scrapped because Toby didn't think it sounded enough like getting punched in the face with music. Hmm. This does sound like getting punched in the face with music. It's, it's good, it, in a good way. Oh boy, alright. Welcome to Hot Hotland. Uh oh, phone call. Hey, what's up? I was just thinking, you, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime. I think you would make great pals. Let's meet up at her house later. Ha. <laughs> oh fuck, bro. Fuck, I'm going to have to eat the snowman. Okay, that says page one, but I think I only have one page worth of items, right? Is that I can't... Yeah. <sighs> All right. Sorry, snowman. Can I just run right now? Oh, you're right. I'm not actually... Oh, my God. I'm not green. I'm not green. Oh, my God. Dang. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't realize it. I'm bad with colors anyways. Dang. Yeah, I would... Cheese, I would appreciate. Oh, don't tell me what to do, even if I'm, you know... Just let me fuck up. Let me fuck up. It's funny. We ate the snowman? It's funny. The snowman did have to die. Would he have died here anyway? Armor, so hot, but I can't give up. Oh my god, Undyne, just take your armor off, lady. I'm a ten-year-old <laughs> tongue! I'm a fucking, like, ten-year-old. You could kick my ass without armor. Are you okay? She looks dry. Okay, let's get her some water. You think I can ask the snowman for another piece? That'd be sweet. It felt nice taking him all over the world. All right, let's take a cup of water. All right. Here you go. This is so silly. Like, we're just being nice to everybody and, like, winning them over. It's very cute. Now I have to trek back to the snowman to explain myself. Look, I'll just, I'll just won't say anything, all right? And if he, if he asks, if he presses me, I'll be like, it was like life or death, dude. You saved my life. Hey. Hey. Say something. Hey. Fucking hey. You want to hang out with Papyrus and me? Oh. Sans is gone. I probably should have talked to him. I was too afraid. Alright. I guess Undyne just left. Okay. Fine. Oh. Oh my. That's how you backseat. Oh my god. 
But did I go on the date with Papyrus? Yeah. I said, yeah, I did. Of course I did. Who wouldn't? Oh shit, also. Did we could turn on the cat cam? Nah, that angle's terrible. Let's see. Oof. I need, I need to fix the cat cam angle. Greg, you want to be on cat cam? All right, she's into it. We'll keep it. Why not? Ooh, actually, hold on. Could we... What could we do here? What could we do here? We could maybe we could maybe make the cat cam a little bit better. We have room. Nah, nah, we'll just leave it. We'll just leave it. It doesn't need to be perfect. Don't forget the call that Papyrus and I had while I was being chased. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, actually, I haven't called anybody. Let's call Papyrus. Let's see what he has to say. A water cooler in Hotland? That's weird. Shouldn't it be a fire cooler instead? Oh my god, he just has dumb jokes. Holy shit. Beef stretch. Uh, not quite. Big yes, beef no. Holy. Oh, you're like a clam person. Oh, K, 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 K. I was thirsty, so I came over from Waterfall to get a drink. Uh, do I need to give you a drink? I feel like you can handle it yourself, but yeah, you're just okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're, right. you're not. Oh shit! He said the same thing first, but then he said something different. Are you just carrying that around to look sophisticated? Cause it's not working. All right, I indeed I am. While I was being chased, well, yeah, he said we should go hang out at uh at Undine's house. Papyrus asked me to do something whether I go or not. It's my choice. So it's not like uh, we should do it sometime in the future. It's like I could just go back to Undyne's house and we could all hang out right now. All right. All right, motherfuckers. We'll go do that. I do want to further the Papyrus storyline. You go too far, you can't go back. Okay. All right. The cup evaporated too. Oh, Lord. Okay. So let me save. Hopefully this isn't going too far. Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. There's a lab here? Oh, well, we're at the laboratory entrance. Okay. Oh my god, so we would have to, uh, we would have to go all the way back. Ooh, damn, Cheese's facts are getting called out. Okay, wait, but fast travel, is there actually fast travel? Go down from the save point. Oh my god, okay. Son of a bitch. Like, go down here. Oh my god. Alright, what's your deal, buddy? La 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 la. I am the river man. Or am I the river woman? It doesn't really matter. I love to ride in my boat. Would you care to join me? All right. Um, uh, Snowden's too far back. So then hopefully the waterfall's a good spot. I don't know where they're going to land me. And then Undyne's house was near the ghost's house. <laughs> tra la la, tra li li, tra la le, tra le le. Oh my god. He needs a... They need a little, uh, like a little rowing oar. Come again sometime. Tra-la-la. -la. Okay, that's the, the guy that sells me stuff. Who actually... Let me stock up. I don't care. I have a bunch of healing items. Alright. Hopefully four is good enough. Damn, I guess we could go back to Snowden and get some more snowman parts. He's a good heal in a pinch. Sweet. Oh, the human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Will you hang out? Okay. Okay! Stand behind me! Psst! Make sure to give her this! She loves these! Oh my god. I do not trust Papyrus. Oh, cool door open. Hi, Papyrus. 
Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? Oh no, is she into him? Oh no. Oh no. In high school, you made a bumper per bumper sticker of River Person saying, Tra la la, my other car is a riverboat. That's very cute. That's a very cute bumper sticker. This, she's not into him. This sounds, I don't know. This sounds like she's, and also she has kind of a mischievous smile. Okay, well, I'm glad the answer is no, because the fish is hella gay. Well, hold, okay, hold on, hold on. You bet I am. And I brought a friend. Oh my god, it's one-on-one, -on -one, you dumbass. Hi, I don't think we've... Uh-oh. Uh. Why don't you two come in? Oh my god. Oh my god. There will be no boning. Oh my god. Here, Undyne. My friend brought a gift for you. On their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. Oh my god, okay, alright. So are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie, I just remembered! I have to go to the bathroom! You two have fun! Oh my god, what the fuck? Uh, that shit looks like, like, old Newgrounds Flash animation, like, just rotating his body. Oh my god. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? Uh, no, I kind of just, I, I, I kind of just want to know what's up, you know? Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think I'm going to be friends with you, huh? Right? Yes or never with you? No, nah, I think we're gonna say yes. We're pretty. We're pretty. We're a pretty cool like friend catch, and we're and we're confident. We're confident. And Stick is confident, if anything. Yeah, yeah. I really was being a numbskull when I suggested that, though. Okay, well, hold up. What the? Well, hold on. How would I? I wouldn't. She, she, it's weird how excited she was to have one-on-one -on -one training with, the, with Papyrus, who is incredibly annoying, you know? You know? So, you know, just, just pun, pun or not, you know, it just, it, it was a little weird. It was a little weird. The puns are making your skull hurt. Oh my God. My god. Okay. All right. Really? How delightful. I accept. Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Sweet. Not. Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you, but I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Oh, shit. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you. <laughs> what a joke. I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be... Besties, I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? Oh my god. All right. Sit down and progress. Okay, wait, hold on. Humans suck, but their history kind of rules. Case in point, this giant sword. Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size. Right? Yeah, sure, we did that, we're cool. Hey, I knew it! When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So me and Alphys built a giant sword together. Okay, so Alphys is like her partner? I know Alphys is a girl, that's about all I know of them though. She figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? All right, all right. 
Uh, can we look at the window? I can't believe he leapt through the window like that. Normally, he nails the landing. Okay, but like... She seems like... Actually friendly with Papyrus, and that weirds me the fuck out. One time, Alphys's uh, friend came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano. Uh-oh. 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 No matter how supposedly fishy you say Undyne would... ...never be tied up with him. Okay. All right. And fed himself grapes. Oh, boy. I don't really like that guy. But I admire his lifestyle. Holy shit. In the sink is a teacup in the shape of a fish. That's cute. How about your stove? This oven is some top-of-the-line MTT thing. But, you know, as much as technology advances, nothing beats food home-cooked with fire magic. Cool. It's a silverware drawer. It has forks, spoons, knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks. Very cute. I hate cold food. So Alphys fixed up my fridge so it heats up food instead. Hot fridge, the world's greatest invention. Okay, that's fun. How about if I go back here? You want to see my room? Too bad. No nerds allowed. Well, maybe some nerds. Okay. I, I can't read Undyne. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. Hmm. Hmm. Good time for a fish eye. All set. What would you like? Oh, I get to choose. Oh, holy shit. Hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Aim with arrows and select with Z. Well, okay, but the, the thing is... Okay, okay, we can just use the, the joystick. Sugar goes in tea. That's weird. We can, we can choose sugar as the drink. Soda, sickly yellow liquid. Hot chocolate. Green cylinder. Oh. Tea box. Blatantly correct choice. Mmm. Sugar. That sugar's for the tea. I'm not gonna give you a cup of sugar. What do I look like? The ice cream woman? Cause cause ice cream is is sugary? Do human ice cream women terrorize humanity with energy spears? Are their ice cream songs a prelude to destruction? I got a question. Is that it? You know what? I'm gonna say yes. Does she have roof ingredients? Is Okay, if this is a pun, I don't get it. Dude doesn't get it either. Or maybe Dude doesn't get that I don't get it. I don't know. I'll see. Okay, all right. Good. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm going to tell her yes. That that is what ice cream women do. What? Really? That rules. Yeah, so give me the fucking sugar. God damn it. Okay, fine. You know what? Well, now now it's clear we have to choose tea to go forward, but of course I need to see all of her responses. Oh, soda? Actually, even though you pointed to it, you don't look happy. Heh, that's fine. I think soda's gross too. It rots your teeth. It rots your mind. It rots your fighting spirit. Huh? Why do I have it? That was an interesting face. All right. Okay, hot chocolate. Oh, you want some hot chocolate? Wait, wait, I just remembered. That container's empty. I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. Asgore kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. Wait, the fucking, 
the king of monsters just comes and hangs out with you on like a friendly basis. You're like his royal guard person. You're just like friends. Huh. Strange. You accidentally got non-diet Baja Blast today and it feels like your whole mouth is rotting. Dude, I, yeah, I cannot drink sodas. Like two sips of a soda is great. And then after that, like my mouth just feels like a weird, fuzzy, sticky mess. I don't know how I did it as a kid. It's fucking crazy. Also, I didn't know there was a diet Baja Blast. That's fascinating. Tea, huh? Coming right up. All right. We chose the right answer finally. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. Okay. Growing up to have standards is awesome and sad. I There's lots of other drinks to drink. I'm okay not being a soda fiend. TB has Baja Zero. TB. Ta it's ta right, Taco Bell, because they used to have Baja Blast, right. Is that the only place to get it? What even is a Baja Blast? It's a flavor of Mountain Dew. And I don't know much more than that. It's tropical-y, I think. I don't know. I don't know. That's how they keep people coming in. Yeah, Taco Bell has uh, gone downhill. And I, I don't know if that's because I grew up and my standards have risen or if Taco Bell's quality has fallen. When you only have something like every five or six years, uh, like, boy, and it's just more disappointing each time. Like, damn, it sucks. I miss good Taco Bell from when I was a kid. It's a tropical lime Mountain Dew. OK, all right. Here we are. Wait, you don't have a chair. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea. It's burning, uh-oh. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. I fucking love this face of hers. It has, it has Rick and Morty energy. It's good. It's good face. They also got class action last year for misrepresenting the amount of meat in their products with their ads. Holy shit, that's really funny. I remember there being a big round of stories about how like Taco Bell and a bunch of other places put like pink slime in their meat and it's just some like weird soy filler thing. It still sounds gross, but. Now all their ads are wide shots and it's so funny. Interesting. So it was it wasn't that they said there was too much meat. It was like they went in really close and showed too much meat. Interesting. Has anyone ever heard of Ube? Wait, is that like the sweet potato thing? It's like purple. Asian stores have like I swear Ube ice cream is like a thing. It is that thing. Holy shit. Okay, cool. It's a, a weird thing to remember. Hmm. I've never tried it. I want to, though. Hey, Greg. You all right? Oh, good yawn. Good yawn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, clean those paws. All right. It makes really good cake. Right. I have th there are all sorts of Ube products. I should I should try some at some point. The film samples were literally overstuffed for the standards given to their employees. Hmm. But now it's okay because they film it from farther away and you can't really tell. So then they're like, we're not lying because you can't tell how much meat is in here. Makes really good cream cheese frosting. Ooh. That sounds interesting. Now, do people make that and I could buy it? Or would I have to make my own cream cheese frosting out of it? Because that sounds like a lot of work. I'm lazy. Uh, my partner, who is regularly a mod in here, but she's not 
present at the moment, uh, Captain Crazy Pants could probably be convinced to make something. She's she's very uh, I don't know. She she likes making weird stuff to try it. So maybe I could convince her to do it, and then then I can benefit. You know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea, golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. And actually, now that I think about it. You kind of remind me of him. Uh-oh, are we his kid? Are we his fucking kid? Who even are we? Who the fuck are we? You're both total weenies. Oh my god, okay, that's pretty funny. Sort of. All right. But you know, if I get this reference, I should try Red Velvet Cupcake with Ube Frosting, Marcy's fave. Okay, the only guess I would have would be Marceline from Adventure Time because she eats red stuff. They put the accurate amount in there now. They just don't do close-ups because it looks accurately disappointing. Oh, oh. I'm a human well kind of. Whoa, bro. Whoa. Don't hit me with the well kind ofs. That's, don't do that. Don't fucking do that. That's rude. Don't do, no, no. That's, don't do that. Uh-uh. No. Back it up. One step back. One step fewer spoilers. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time. Greg, could you stop shaking the mic? Thank you. He refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Okay, maybe this is why you like Papyrus, okay. Like, uh, Papyrus. Alright, okay, it's come full circle, I get it now. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well... I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... He's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. Lady, fucking take a step back. What the fuck are you doing right now? He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of what... Wow, I just spit on my microphone. Okay, I'm gonna need a tissue. One moment. Ahem. <clears throat> that was awkward. Okay. That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. What a strange story this is. Oh, sorry. I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Pyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now. And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. <laughs> That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine. Faw! <laughs> Afraid? We're gonna be best friends. Oh my god, this is so stupid. I love it. <laughs> Shit! Let's start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. Holy shit. Sealing ingredients. Oh my god, okay. Radio Demon, that was a terrible joke. How will you pound? Ooh, wimpy pound. You pet the vegetables in an affectionate manner. Holy shit. Oh my god, stop petting the enemy! I'll show you how it's done! Nah! Holy shit. 
We'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now... Holy shit. We add the noodles! Homemade noodles are the best! But I just buy store brand! They're the cheapest! Nah! Uh, I'll just put them in the pot. How will you put them in? Oh. Let's be careful. You place the noodles in one at a time! <laughs> they clank against the empty bottom. Nice? Alright. Now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. All right. Okay. Oh, she. Okay. She. She wants me to keep going. All right. Okay. Ah, let me do it. Oh my God. Okay, game. Oh, that's the stuff. All right. Now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Hold right to turn up the heat. All right. Well, but if... Okay. Hotter. Hotter, darn it. Hotter. Wait, that's too... Uh-oh. This lady's fucking crazy. Oh no. Ah. Man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. Cause you're crazy? So what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh my god, the shading on her face right now. Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret! Ah, crap. Ah, okay. You guys lured me into a fucking fight. A dollar for a pound of... pasta does go nutty for the wallet. Yeah, I think I think a dollar is even kind of high. If you get like a good deal at like a big box store, like a like a, a bulk grocery store, it's like I feel like it's like eighty nine cents. And then if it's on sale, you might get like two or three. All right, how oh, cute fish emote. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. Even failed to befriend you. Well, I I would be your friend. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch, all out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you've got. Nah! Oh. Holy shit, <laughs> Team Worm just cheered 89. Cheer 89 <laughs> here's two meals for you. Oh my god. Th thank you, Team Worm. Thank, thank you. <laughs> Fake attack! Hell yeah, fake attack time. You pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might. Oh my god, that's it. Oh no, okay, we're still here. I hit her, uh-oh. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Heh. <sighs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. Team Worm just cheered 50. Oh, no. Cheer 50 test. <laughs> Teamworm, do you want to lose TTS? Do you want to lose TTS? Because that's how you lose TTS. Teamworm. No. <laughs> Fucking. Actually, that sounded kind of cool. That wasn't annoying. The the ch -ch 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 was was nice. It was kind of nice. Oh my god, Crazy Pants is here. Hi, Crazy Pants. Okay, you know what? Instead of antagonizing me by clipping things, could you figure out how to make ube cream cheese frosting? Because it sounds good. It's cool once. Yeah, that's true. All right. She doesn't want to hurt us either. At first, I hated your stupid saccharine shtick, but... The way you hit me right now, it 
reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Well, I feel bad we fucked her house up. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later. P Punk? Shit, I hit X. Fuck, alright. Well, I guess now we have to go talk to, uh... Her and Papyrus. Where's the boat person? Fuck. How did I get here? Shit. It was like, I, I just took a left? I just took a left? Hey, alright, boat person. Oh my god, they're little, they got a little, like, cat face? Oh, speaking of cats, Greg has abandoned us. All right, no more cat cam. That that's the wrong camera, buddy. That says face. All right. Tra la la, care for a ride? Heck yeah. Take me to Snowden. Bro, that's cool. Oh my god. This is like Studio Ghibli energy. Tra la la, Temi Village. Wait. The room before the darkening lantern room. Oh. You can't spell face without most of cat. Oh my god. Now I think that's actually not true. Good joke though. Come again sometime. Tra la la. Hmm. Hmm. Wow, that clip took a while to show up. Well, that's fun. Why are you doing that, buddy? That's just your job? Okay. Oh, well, what the fuck is this place? Oh, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, my patience rewards me. Ah. Ah. All right. All right, buddy. You like to wander. You must be young. But you're like a person? I guess he's got a mustache. All right. Oh, it's he's got a little hat. Let's continue to play monsters and humans. Can we please play something else? Oh my god, that's adorable. Two out of three is definitely most. What? Well, all right, yeah. I was thinking most of face. You're right. And most of cat. Good call. I don't allow yours to auto post because I don't like you, bro. I don't even know how to not how to prevent that. I don't. I don't fucking. I've got zero idea how I would stop that, or allow it even. You're a mod. You figure it out. Ah oh, shit! Papyrus's house was to the right. I think so. Yeah, yeah, to the right of Groby's for sure. Th that's the library, bro. Well, it's the Librarby, but, you know. Okay. And here they are. I'm so glad you and Undyne are friends now. You two go together like pasta and burning. Oh my god. Okay, all right. All right. Nar? You don't, you don't want to figure it out? Okay, well then, you're stuck with your problem. Hey, punk, what's up? Got you. Papyrus, how can you stand this cold? I have no skin! So why don't we stand in Grillby's instead? Because I hate grease! But you don't have a stomach! 
No, but I have standards. Oh my god, all right. And that's it? Let's go see if we can talk to Sans. So I want to hear a secret go behind the house. All right, okay. Yeah, if there's stuff I would just outright miss, fine, that's fine. Damn, door's still locked, okay. Mm, I guess we gotta go the other way. Undyne gives me Marceline energy. She's like evil, but not really. It's locked. Oh. How nice of you to check my mail for me. Whoops. Wait, no, that's very strange. Yeah, I didn't I didn't mean to, to click that. I was trying to just click around the back. Okay, so there's just a locked door. Okay, that means there's an entrance to the house? Hmm. Does his room have a second entrance? Like, honestly, it kind of seems like the closet would just go outside. Maybe not. Oh, well. Okay, so it does... Also, on the console, there's a room behind the sink. Huh. Okay, honestly, the sink did look like there should be... there would Like, you could go into, underneath, or behind it. Here for a ride? Yeah, sure. Now, I feel like they want me to find the Temi village, since she mentioned in the room before the lights that turn off or something, but... Nah. Damn, do the cool... Do the cool running on water thing. La la la, the angel is coming. Tra la la, oh. Misread the first line of that. Sorry, boat lady. Come again sometime. Tra la la. Hmm, all right, there's the lab. Don't forget. I'm gonna forget. I'm gonna forget all the things. Uh, you guys probably don't want me coming this way, huh? Sorry, Undyne, like, told us there is totally a human in the area. So, like, us royal guards are blocking off the elevators for now. Yeah, even if you, even if the elevators aren't working anyway, we'll do our best, Miss Undyne. What about you? You won't say anything, all right. You're with me in the dark, oh boy. The angel is coming. Indeed, oh my. Okay. It's too dark to see near the walls. I'm not looking at the walls. I'm looking at this thing right in front of me. But okay. Same thing, same thing. Well, then how come I can see? Like, me, the player? That's weird. Oh, okay. Well, great. Lights are on. What are you, buddy? Oh, my God! I didn't expect you to show up so soon! I haven't showered, I'm barely dressed. Call Messi and... Um... Uh, hiya. I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Ascor's royal scientist. But, uh... I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um... been observing your journey through my console. Oh, fuck. Oh, boy. Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on screen really makes you root for them. So, so um, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I know a way right to Asgore's castle, no problem. Well, naturally, um, there's just a tiny issue. One moment. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, recently I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments. Like, um... 
anti anti human combat features? Oh shit. Of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so. Yeah. Risky Undie, thanks for being a new follower. Have I killed any I monsters? Know. Not that I'm aware of. Okay, wait, hold on. I took I took an ice guy's hat and then he melted. So I might technically have killed him. I don't actually know if that counts. And if it does, that's going to be a sad, um, a sad way to ruin an otherwise pacifist run. Like, personally, I don't think it counts because I didn't know what I was doing. But, um, but I think technically, like, we killed that guy. That's not killing. Oh, okay. Well, it's nice it doesn't count, but it does, it does feel like I actually killed that dude. I felt bad about it, at least. Uh, but yeah, so far, nobody's been killed. Technically, I suppose. And uh, if I can help it, nobody will be. Sad that I didn't compliment him after, though. Oh, damn. Damn. I, I, I didn't realize I could do that. That would be funny. Shit. Shit. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so. And, um... Now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood? <laughs> but, um, hopefully we won't run into him. Oh, Jesus. Now he still thinks his hat gives him his worth. Oh! So we could have complimented him and then he might have realized he's cool without it. Oh my god, throat tickle. Did you hear something? Shoot. I gotta blow my nose. I will be right back. All right, I'm back. This guy's Alphys? Why does he sound like Squidward? I don't know. Everybody's got to have a weird voice, you know? Oh, no. Oh, yes. Welcome, beauties. To today's quiz show. Sweet. Oh boy, I can already tell it's gonna be a great show. Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestant. Shit, you're right, I did know that Alphys was a girl. Yeah. Yeah. Good point. Thank you for the good luck. I think I can I can I can handle the quiz show. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, it's a game show. I don't know if it's a quiz necessarily. Maybe. Never played before, gorgeous. No problem. It's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. Okay, it's a quiz show. All right. All right. Hmm. Yeah, that is weird. Radio Demon did just ask that. Hmm. Strange. Okay, so the one rule is answer correctly, or you die. Okay. All right. Metaton attacks. Is this going to be a quiz about the game? Let's check on him. His metal body renders him invulnerable to attack. Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? Oh. I don't fucking no more questions all right sounds like you get it oh boy okay well i guess we can cry how did i know that was just a guess a, a, a ch the game's cheeky that was a cheeky answer let's cry screaming is against the rules here's your terrific prize 
What's the king's full name? Okay, that one's pretty easy. Correct, what a terrific answer. Okay, let's cry again. Screaming is against the rules. Enough about you, let's talk about me. What are robots made of? Metal and magic? I don't know, man. Too easy for you, huh? Okay, do I need to, like, get one wrong on purpose? Here's another easy one for you. Do trains train A and train B simultaneously depart station A and station B? Station A and station B are 252.5 miles apart from each other. Train A is moving at 124.7 miles per hour. Tra station B... To ah, okay. All right. Shit. Look at Alphys. Yeah, she seems to not be having a great time. On purpose, yeah, no, I totally knew the answer to that question that I hadn't even finished reading. Fuck. I don't have a lot of health left. You see a dreamer baby over there by the water. How what now? Do, do what? Just gonna cry again. Don't count on your victory. How many flies are in this tr Oh my god. Okay, that's funny. Very funny. I don't know, man. 52? Completely, utterly wrong. Okay, well, we're not dead yet. Hmm. Asgore Dreamer. It was a pun. Damn, I don't get it. I get the, the dreamer part, sure. To, to get from Asgore to baby, I don't know. You, you don't need to explain it to me, it's okay. Just letting you know I don't get it. it it's, a, it's a pretty common thing. You can ask Team Worm or Durg if, if either is still here. I miss puns a lot. It was the lyric of a song. Oh... Oh, interesting. Okay. You're just great. Your HP was maxed out. Uh, thanks, Nice Cream. Let's play memory game. What monster is this? Oh, it's the frog guy. The froggit? Sure. Oh, it wasn't. Oh my god, that's fucking hilarious. Alright, dude. It's some Jigglypuff scene from above energy. Uh, fuck. Okay, go back. This guy's an asshole. Can I just run from him? Like, no, right? Yep. All right. Sh I should have checked earlier. Yep. Screaming's against the rules, yep. But can you get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? All right, sure. Great answer. I love it. The quiz show continues. Oh, my God. Here is a simple one. How many letters in the name? Okay, buddy. No, no, no. Can't you read? Oh, shit. I have five health. Oh, if I get this wrong, I'm dead. That's not good. Time to break out the big guns. In the dating simulation video game, New King Kissy Cutie, what is Mew Mew's favorite food? Oh, d <laughs> Alphys, Alphys, Alphys. Okay, so Alphys tried to give us an answer? You aren't helping our contestant, are you? Oh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. Who does Dr. Alphys have a crush on? Oh my god, I don't know. It'd be cute if it was Undyne. Let's do that. See, Alphys, I told you it was obvious. Oh, okay, that is cute. Your stream is so behind. I'm sorry, bro. There's nothing I can do. 
Even the human figured it out. Yes, she crawl scrawls her name in the margins of her notes. She names programming variables after her. Oh, that, okay, that's, that is kind of cute. She even writes stories of them together. Okay, that's a little much. Sharing a domestic life. Probability of crush, 101%. Margin of error, 1%. Well, well, well. With Dr. Alphys helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this. But, but, this was just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. Mm. Well, that was certainly something. What do I call a pampered cow? Spoiled milk. Whoa. It's cute. But I feel like if you're just pampered, you're not spoiled, right? It's like you gotta be pampered and then you become an asshole. But, but I get it. Yeah, oh, no, I get this, this. I got this one. I got this one. I I disagree with the quality, but the I disagree with the conclusion. What do you call a pampered cow who, because they were so pampered, became kind of shitty and had bad reactions to things? <laughs> there you go. I, I fixed your joke. It's a bag of dog food. It's half full. I got a dog. You got you got a dog. Alphas, you got a dog. Mm -hmm. Oh no! What do you call a cow with no legs? Okay, I know that one. <laughs> that one's ground beef. Yeah, yeah, that one I know. That that last question, he wasn't supposed to ask that one. Wait, wait. Let me give you my phone number. Then maybe if you need help. I could... Where do you get that phone? It's ancient. It doesn't even have texting. Wait a second, please. Oh, sweet, are we getting a new phone? Oh my... What the fuck? Here, I upgraded it for you. It can do texting, items, it's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, I'm going to the bathroom. Oh my god, bro. Why? Why is she so weird? Dear god. What do I call a cow with two? This joke seems to have ended abruptly. Oh, with two legs. Sure. Lean beef. Hmm. Sure, sure. It's computer. It's accessing some kind of puzzle in Snowden. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. I used to work at an orange juice factory, but I couldn't concentrate. They put the squeeze on me, I got canned. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right. Okay. Those aren't good enough to keep reading. No. 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 Oh my god. My pet rock named Dwayne. All right. That's like not even... Is that even a pun? That's just like a weird word substitution thing. It's a teacup shaped like a yellow lizard. It's full of soda. Oh. Oh, is that why Undyne has soda? Hmm. It's a beat up figurine of a female human with cat ears. Okay. A garbage can. But it's pretty cute. That's fun. Can I fucking turn this off of me? This is weirding me out. No. No, we can't. Hmm. Yellow feet are tapping just behind the door. Oh my god. It's a bathroom sign. Can we go in the hole? No, we can't. All right. Okay, well, that's leaving the lab. Hold on. Hold on. 
Can I go back? Not at all. Okay. All right. Oh, boy. I think goop drips from this strange machine. Oh, boy. There's a chainsaw? Looks like Alf... This is a work table. Seems dusty. Wow, the... The, uh... Extra S on Alphys is... Fucking threw me. All right. So Alphys is into cat girls? The wardrobe is full of dirty lab coats. And a single clean dress. Oh, that's cute. You, you gotta have your clean dress for, for moments, you know? There are letters from many monsters here. Froggit, Snowy, Doggo. They're all unopened. Wait, from them? Wait, the the monsters have sent letters to Alphys and Alphys just doesn't open them? That's rude. An incredible invention. When not in use, this bed folds into an extremely easy to draw box. Good joke. Good joke, Toby. Holy shit. I'll see. All right. Okay. Now, that's not spoilery, but that's a little teasy. Alphys updated status. Just realized I didn't watch Undyne fight the human. Ah, uh, this is a social media thing. All right, okay. Alphys updated status. Well, I know she's unbeatable. Well, I guess I should do it in Alphys' voice. Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her about it later. God. Just fucking tell her you love her. For now, I gotta call up the human and guide them. Oh my god, this is fucking... You're being rude, Alphys. Whoa, cool. Wow, a fight in the middle of a conveyor belt. Vulcan strolls in. Oh, this guy's cute. He's like a little volcano. Oh, sh why did I... God damn it. I keep fucking thinking I need to click past the uh, the initial statement. And that then I can choose to fight or act. But like, no, you can just choose immediately. Hmm. I wonder what he wants. Also, shit, I need to heal. Eh, why not? <laughs> love yourself. I love you. That's a little bit creepy, bro. Speed will help dodge. Uh, I mean, as a general statement, that is true. Oh, fuck. Vulcan makes a smoke hoop and jumps through it. Okay, what would this guy want? Let's encourage him. Notification never goes away. What, for like the social media thing on your phone in the game? You tell Vulcan it's doing a great job. Its attacks become extreme. Uh-oh. Ah, ah, does my best. Uh-oh. I thought he'd be happy. I guess maybe he is, but... Vulcan parades around you proudly. Okay, we did it. Very cute. Oh. I mean, honestly, that looks like he died. Sorry, Vulcan. Hmm, okay, so that probably just takes me back. Gonna call them in a minute. Oh my god, bro. What if I just call you? I can't call you. I can call dimensional box A or B. Oh boy. Do I like voice acting? If it's good, sure. Okay. A lot of conveyor belts. The whooshing sound of steam and cogs. It fills you with determination. 
I hate using the phone. I don't want to do this. LMAO. That's funny. Have I thought about applying to the voice acting industry because I'm good? Oh my god, no. No, 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 no. This is just silly nonsense that's for fooling around. Taking it seriously would ruin it. Also, I yeah, I don't... I appreciate if you actually think I'm good at it. I don't think I am. Soon dear plane. Oh my god. It gets in the way. Not on purpose or anything. Oh my god. She gave me item boxes, a phone upgrade, social media, everything but her number. Yeah. Yeah. Awkward. I'm not quite sure you'd highly recommend Ambridges if I want to be if I'm wanting to be silly. Do I know about Ambridges? No, I do not. Oh my god, we can flirt or approach the Sundir plane. <sighs> okay, if we approach it, will it just go away? You get close to the Sundir plane, but not too close. E human Okay, I thought maybe we would make it uncomfortable and it would go away. Sundir plane shakes its nose dismissively at you. Hmm. Ambridges can either be live or pre-recorded. Most of them are pre-recorded, though. They basically have clips of characters from a show or a piece of media and then voice act as that character, usually changing the personalities and characteristics of those characters, usually in a comedic fashion. Okay, I've probably seen things like that. Like, silly, like, TikTok videos or YouTube shorts where people have done silly shit like that. If you want the live stream, if you... If I want the live stream... You mean if I want to live stream it? The most popular Ambridge is Shadow the Hedgehog game, where there's a lot of memes based around it, such as, I miss my wife, Tails, I miss her a lot, and I've come to make announcements. Shadow the Hedgehog is a bitch-ass motherfucker. Oh my god. Oh my god. It was huge in like 2009. A few people made it big. It still has a good community. It sounds fun. It sounds like just a silly fun good time. What does it mean to shake your nose dismissively at someone? Like, 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 no, like you're saying, like, mm -mm. it doesn't want me to approach it. Let's, let's, let's approach one more time. Damn it. No, get too close. Get, make the Sundir plane uncomfortable. It got in our way. Okay. All right. I guess our only fucking choice is to flirt with it. Ugh. Ugh. Green. What's green? The name's not green. Although I am colorblind, so it is hard for me to know what's actually green rather than yellow. Or red. Depending. Depending. Green just looks like one of the two. It's like you got yellows and you got reds. Green's a lie. They have a green outline. Oh my god, the thing's attacking me. Oh my god. Holy shit. Thank you. Wow. Okay, so I get the outline not. Okay, that's like me getting too close to them. Okay, wow. Holy shit. Did this take me... You, it Literally, you had to explain it to me for me to understand it. Yeah, that absolutely looks yellow. Sundir Plane looks over, then turns up its nose. All right, we're good. Bye, Sundir Plane. Oh my god. I don't get things sometimes. Apologies. Ooh, the glowing effect looks fucking cool. Is this gonna do, like, launch me over? Okay, that seems like that would be painful, but we're fine with it, I guess. Oh my god, I had my claw over the last digit for five minutes. Om OMG, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna call. But he... I didn't give Alphys my number, right? 
Did I save? I believe I saved. I believe I've saved at every save that I've hit. I might have forgotten one. Okay, we are actually getting called. Whoever was calling hung up before we answered it. Oh my god. Hmm. Okay, I guess we'll just go up, but there was a spot to the right. Oh my god. Uh, uh hi. So, the blue lasers. Uh, I mean, Alphys here. Hi. The blue lasers won't hurt you if you don't move. The orange ones, um, you have to be moving, and they, um, they won't, um, move through those ones. Okay. Uh, bye. OMG, I did it! Oz haven't shook like that since Undyne called me to ask about the weather. Oh my god, okay, so orange ones we can move through, blue we can't. Alright, okay. Oh my god, Alphys. Wait, there's no weather down here. Why did she call me? Maybe she likes you. Fuck. Fuck. Oh god. Okay. No, it's the it's the other way. You don't walk through the Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, hey, watch out. You're going to get really hurt. I can't watch this. I'm disabling the lasers. Thanks, bro. I'm I suck. But there. Be careful, okay? I'm sorry. It's it's my fault you got hurt. I didn't explain the lasers well enough, and if I hadn't, if I hadn't, um, delayed using my hacking skills, I mean, I'm sorry. Oh my god. It's a switch. Okay, okay. So then I assume, like, if I didn't suck, I would be able to just turn them off at this point, but Alpha's turned them off for us. There was a save right below. Yeah, I thought I hit that one. Hopefully I did. Oh my god, I forgot to tell them where to go. Wait, TH was capital in them. This is like a thing Alphys does? CU is capital. A cute pic of me right now. It's a photo of a garbage can with several pink glittery filters over it. What? I, I guess that was a joke. Like, that's kind of funny. Uh, Alf is here. The, the northern door will stay locked until you solve the puzzles on the right and left. I, I think you should go to the right first. Hmm. All right. We'll trust Alphys. Oh, my God. The way to work is blocked, so I had to, I had time to catch Metaton's show on my phone. The special effects were amazing today. That humus, human almost looked real. Bro, I am that human. You fucking, you're just like not looking at me? She was saying that she was trash. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's terrible. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Holy shit. Metaton? Yeah, he's the most popular star in the underground. His fan club probably has at least two, no three dozen members. How big is the underground? Wonder if it would be unfun if I explained the puzzle. Oh dear god. Yeah, it was a, it's a cat head? That door leading through the area is closed, so I tried the puzzle. And I kept running out of ammo. And it kept restarting? And my two co-workers won't help? It's like they don't even want to go to work! Oh boy. Her mental health only gets worse from here. Oh, that's so sad. Oh. Uh... Okay. Could, uh... Alright, there we go. So if I do this, then there's just one in the way, and then I hit the thing? Alright. Cool. Shoot the opposing ship. Move the boxes to complete your mission. Alright. Should have read that. That's fine. Hmm. 
No, oh no. Alright. Another laser? Huh. I'm sorry. I won't play around this time. Hold on a second. Okay. Finally! Someone turned off that laser! Now that we're free, we can... Well, uh, I guess we'll just keep standing here. We were hanging out when suddenly a bunch of puzzles reactivated out of nowhere. This is a huge problem. It rules. They've got to cancel school over this. Okay. All right. Oh, fuck, bro. Okay. Um, what can we do? We could, like, lock this one into here. But then if we do this... Ooh. Okay, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Still only have two shots. How do I do this? Hmm... This is like actually kind of hard for me to understand. Okay, so hold on. If we do that, we're good. Yeah, I had it. Well, I have it again, I suppose. That is a. Uh... It's like difficult to th quickly think through the answer. I guess if I sat there for a while, I probably could have figured out how to do it in like three moves or something. Okay. Oh my god, Alphys. Whatever. I'll just explain it. And Alphys, I did it. Wait. Uh, I think, um, hey, about the puzzles on the left and the right. They're a bit difficult to explain, but, uh, you already solved them? Awesome. Click. Oh my god. Do I still have the spider donut from the ruins? I didn't buy anything from the spiders. And I don't think I ever got a cider. Maybe I did. I didn't have much cash when I went to the spider bake sale. Uh, hey. It's kind of dark in there, isn't it? Don't worry. I'll hack into the light system and brighten it up. Oh. If I did, please save it. Well, I don't think I did. Pretty sure. Pretty sure I don't have a cider. Oh no. Oh boy. Okay. Oh yes. Welcome, beauties, to the Underground's premiere cooking show. Cooking with a killer robot. Dear God, this game is all over the place. Preheat your ovens because we've got a very special recipe for you today. We're going to be making a cake. My lovely assistant here will gather the ingredients. Everyone give them a big hand. We'll need sugar, milk, and eggs. Go for it, sweetheart. Hey, that's... Don't use comfortable language like that with me. Oh, they're all just... They're all just... Milk? Eggs in the fridge? No way, darling. They'd get cold. All right. You found the eggs. Found the milk. Found the sugar. I didn't even look on the fucking counter. I was just immediately like, oh yeah, go to the fridge. All right, buddy. Great job. Just put them in the middle of this counter. <laughs> oh my God. Perfect. Great job, beautiful. We've got all the ingredients we need to bake the cake. Milk, sugar, eggs. <laughs> Is this going to turn dark right now? Oh my, wait a magnificent moment. How could I forget? We're missing the most important ingredient. Yep, there it is, okay. A human soul. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hello, I'm kind of in the middle of something here. Why would you answer your phone, robot? Wait a second. Couldn't you make a... 
Couldn't you use a... Couldn't you make a substitution in the recipe? A substitution? You mean use a different non-human ingredient? Why? Uh, what if someone's... Vegan. Vegan? Oh, uh, well, that's a brilliant idea, Alphys. Actually, I happen to have an option right here. MTT brand always convenient human soul flavor substitute. A can of which is just over on that counter. Well, darling, why don't you go get it? Oh boy. All right. Okay. All right. By the way, our show runs on a strict schedule. If you can't get the can in the next one minute, we'll just have to go back to the original plan. So better start climbing, beautiful. I really hate that guy calling me beautiful. Oh no, there's not enough time to climb up. If, fortunately, I might have a plan. When I was upgrading your phone, I added a few features. You see that huge button that says jetpack? Watch this. Okay, this is pretty sweet. There. You should have just enough fuel to reach the top. Now, get up there. Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> oh shit. I didn't think this game would commit so much to being like a bullet hell game. Oh fuck, bro. Oh my oh my god. Also, I'm bad at them, obviously. Like I knew it was gonna be a silly RPG, dude. Dude. Not being able to move up and down is really messing with me. Oh fuck, bro. Can I even succeed? My my. It seems you've bested me. But only because you had the help of the brilliant Dr. Alphys. Oh, I loathe to think of what would have happened to you without her. Well, doodles. Oh yes, about the substitution. Haven't you ever seen a cooking show before? I already baked the cake ahead of time, so forget it. Okay, great. I was going to say, he just like dropped the fucking show shtick real quick. Wow. We, we did it. We, we really did it. Great job out there, team. Well, well, uh, anyway, let's keep heading forward. All right. Okay. So I've only got about seven minutes left. I feel like this is probably a good spot to save. Also, I've skipped the thing. An ominous structure looms in the distance. You're filled with determination. Great. Okay, so I'm going to save here. Let me see if somebody is, uh... Somebody's playing uh, an Undertale, Undertale on Twitch, and then uh, and then we'll raid him, because why not? Uh, da, 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 Undertale, all one word, probably. Somebody's playing Undertale, right? Okay, you don't speak English. Oh. Hmm. Okay, the two other people playing Undertale don't speak English. That sucks. Jogando Undertale Pela Primera Vez. I wish I spoke fucking other languages. Game seems good. Maybe the Undertale kids were right all along. Yeah. Well, kids can't be wrong about everything, right? This game this game is very silly. And like I, I don't know. Some some of the jokes are dumb, but it's it's fucking funny. This shit's fucking silly. It's fun. And also, there are some very clever moments with the use of, like, game mechanics in strange ways, like subverting your expectations or being really thematic with the game design. It's, it's fucking cool. I fucking like it. I'm having a great time. 
Uh, okay, so I'll be back tomorrow. I'm going to work on some lore stuff for a game. I'll be playing Undertale exactly a week from today, every uh, every Wednesday. Careful about looking in the category. There could be some big spoilers. That's a good point. Hopefully a single screenshot wouldn't spoil me, but yeah, maybe like a title or something. Ooh. All right. All right, maybe I'll think twice about it next time, but, you know, it happened. No, no harm, no foul. Uh, so yeah, I'll be back tomorrow working on some some game stuff, designing a tactical combat Pokemon RPG, coming up with the background lore for it. Um, and then Friday playing Hollow Knight. So yeah, if you want to see more Undertale, you got to wait a week. So sorry. Uh, thanks for hanging out, dudes. It was fun. I'll, uh, I'll catch you around. Have a nice day.